Like it's hot, Where? fast hands. I haven't heard a girl say "fool" like that in a minute. Like that sounds very aggressive. Listen, fool. <laughs> like, yeah, that's fool. when you know. Like you know she could. But she, when you put the L, that's when someone is really <laughs> trying to be disrespectful. Um, Magic Curtain, can you turn this AC off so we don't hear that sound? Um, we got Eric, Mr. Fast Hands Bobo over here. What's good, yo? AKA Big Drum. What's happening? Uh, C minus. Yeah, yeah. Hello there. Hola, good sir. Hola. Uh, we got Skinny Pablo back there. Dark curtain action over there. He's Look in... at him. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Good for you. Uh, we got E Zone. What's up? All right, better shot, dude. Look at that shot. Look oh, at that shot's cool. Shot, wait, wait, look at that. I made him hey. look like a million bucks. You make everybody look like a million bucks here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Salute hey. Skinny Pablo and Colton. You know, Teamwork makes the nice. dream work. That's what he's saying. Hey, this up. Two joints, please, Magic Curtain. <laughs> 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 I will give one for you guys to share, like uh-huh. this, like the spaghetti in, in um, Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> I don't know if you could smoke oh, a joint hey, no, like hey. that. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, he's he's gonna he's gonna do the reverse thing when he blows it in his mouth, bro. He's oh, gonna you're gonna give a shotgun. <laughs> oh, it I'm still gets try. you high. Oh, <laughs> oh no! It sure does. Come on, I was like, he's ca- he's caught him from way far. <laughs> Gnarly, you know, this weekend, I, I, I usually pick, like, one of my favorite actors to, like, watch a movie this weekend. Like, you know, go down different ones. So I was watching some Adam Sandler shit. And I was watching Big Daddy, which is one of my favorite movies. Word. <laughs> but the fucking bum on there, I swear to fucking God, bro. Like, this reminds me of Raz Dude out there. You know, that's not to offend you. You know, when he tells him, he's like, You're a fucking bum! Sausage McMuffin, he's like, my father tried to cut my hair one time when I was sleeping. He's like, then I broke his arm, but I haven't seen him ever again. <laughs> Jesus but, Christ. <laughs> yeah. But there, when he, when I first met him, that character reminded me of Steve Buscemi that yep. plays that character out there. And it's yeah, just, he's hilarious. And, and it's, it just reminded me of like when I had first met him and I was like, oh my God, this is like Raz like three years ago when he was Raz Dude. Raz Dude. <laughs> I mean, without the homeless thing, but you the know, dude. like, just, yeah. <laughs> Not him like that. More like in court, bro. Yeah, the duder. Oh. <laughs> With the hair and everything, it was hilarious, man. So fucking hilarious. And then he has he, he put he put all his homies in all this movie. Rob Schneider, the delivery guy in that movie. Yeah, that movie's quite sad though. They have like a crew. They had they do Happy have a Madison crew. production. Yeah, that they well you know not just their like background crew, but I'm saying like they're you know like they have a team that they work with. It's almost like um like what's his name um. Oh, fuck. What was the fucking guy? The, the people who did Shit's Creek. Um, uh, Eugene U- Levy. Eugene Levy and Catherine, o- Catherine O'Hara. O'Hara. Yeah. They've worked together with a group of people for years. Like with Christopher Guest and like a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think Adam Sandler did did a similar thing where he got a team that he loves to work with because you see them in most of his yeah most of his uh films there might be a difference of a couple people new people he might bring in but there's a lot of motherfuckers you recognize from his other movies and because they have a chemistry together i think that shit is key well there's yeah. a they, they're a part of that production crew the production crew's not just uh like the cameras and shit like they're they're included in there it's like peter dante um it's uh, uh, Steve Buscemi, Rob Schneider. Uh, there's the guy. What's his name? Paul, the the guy, the, the white guy. He's he's recently one of the new guys in his crew. There's there's that short guy. Oh, the Paul Blart guy. Yeah, Paul Blart. He's recently working uh, with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that short Kevin Spacey. Kevin, no, 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 sorry, not uh, Kevin Spacey. No, 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 Kevin James. Kevin, yeah, Kevin James. Yeah, there you there go. It is, my bad, That's yeah. another Kevin James. <laughs> the short, not the slow short jam. guy. Yeah. Not slow jam. Not slow jam and James. Because there's Kevin Slow Jam James. Yes. And his cousin Devin Fast Ramen James. Yeah. 
But then there's Kevin James, the comedian. Exactly. Who there's eats a difference. On. Difference. Yeah, man. No, he's uh, I, one of the coolest things I think is that you've always seen Steve Buscemi in uh, some funny cameo in an Adam Sandler movie. Like everything you've always <laughs> seen. And I think that's rather, that, as you said, like that crew has stuck together and they still involve each other in like. Yeah. That's the shit. Like Tarantino got his own squad. <coughs> Absolutely. Basically, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It did hurt it, me, though, to see the last Adam Sandler movie. It did? Yeah, did you see it? Oh, the, uh, whatchamacallit? The Halloween one? Oh, no, I cannot. No, um, no, I, mean, no. I would have thought maybe you might, you might have been like, uh, I, I, watch I, I tried it to. Comedy? I, yes, I tried to watch it. It's with him and. Um, it's a superstar and, cast. And, and homegirl that was uh, on Modern Family who plays the hot hot mom. Not Sophia Vergara, but. but um, the other yeah, one, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's um, also very hot. They're all very funny. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But that wasn't necessarily the funniest shit. That I, movie. I, I, I watched it for like five minutes. Yeah, and I was out. It was like 15 minutes. I watched and it. <sighs> I couldn't get it because I... to me he was doing the water boy thing <laughs> and stuff he's done <laughs> consistently <laughs> with that particular character and this new shit, and that, I, I could not get past it. That's that's <laughs> my problem with him because every time. You know, I, I see him like really one dimensional. I don't huh? see him as that, but I saw that oh, really? as I, too much I, like water. Kind of like you know, I mean, he's cool. You know, I'm not gonna say that he absolutely, you know, is whack or anything like that. But I just, you know, sometimes I just see him kind of playing the, in the same vein, except for that role that okay. he was. Uh, it was that drama role. Uncut, Uncut gems. gems. Yeah, yeah he, he was oh, great. That shit, fucked me that, up, that shit was, great. was dope. And he should do. Some more of that he's, shit. He's 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 dope in a lot of shit, but there's yeah. other shit that's not quite you, as funny. And to yeah. me, the Halloween shit was not you, that funny. You do know what it is? It's just that people like over like overlook a lot of his uh his his uh really serious roles because a lot of the funny shit that he got that got him known yeah. for is just obviously stands out more. Like he's oh, done, yeah. he's done a lot of serious shit where he's played oh. like a serious dad. Like there's that Spanglish yeah. movie. Spanglish hey, movie. That's hey, one like, of my I was favorites. Like, that shit's like I'm like oh I was like this is some serious shit. Then that um yeah, click punch, punch click. drunk love click. Yeah. Click was click, fucking Click, I was crazy. like, bro, I, I only watched that movie once. I was like, that's it, dude. I'm not watching this shit no more. That yeah. shit was too much. No, nah, he's, he's the, dope. The comedic actors make some of the best dramatic actors. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the truth Funny People it. was another one? <clears throat> yeah, Funny People. That, that was yeah. with Judd Apatow. Yep, that was the shit. Is that the girl who has, like, resting bitch face? Uh... Like Which she has, she has a lot of those roles. She's funny as fuck, but she has she yeah. Does she's that. I know who, that's Judd Apatow's wife. <laughs> yeah, she has yes, yeah. She's cool. She yeah. has that she's face. Hilarious. Yeah, she's yeah. hilarious. But it's, she's hilarious. Yeah, that whole that hey, whole squad is cool. There was a a, a scene. Um, what is what is it? Uh, what was the movie they did? Forty something or or um, this is forty or some shit like this. Oh wow, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> and two of them try to go to a club, in the, in the Craig Robinson dude. Is like I can't let y'all in. Yeah, <laughs> y'all are some old bitches. I can't let old bitches into a club. He said one of them was Come pregnant. On. Y'all got to go. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. I thought it was funny. I think that's what it was. It was a funny yeah. scene in there. He tells him he's like, Leslie Mann is her Leslie name. Leslie, thank Mann. you, evil genius, our resident yes. uh, trivia master. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just ask for it. I bop, did. You didn't just see me, bro. It. No, you didn't. Easy. I Don't be like, reaching easy. for my shit. Just ask. Wow. Bop, bop. It's easier. Yeah. You know what, Magic Carpet? We need some lighters up here. How yeah. about that? Need some extra lighters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not, How about bringing a lighter to work, fucker? You have plenty of. I do. I leave them at my desk, and then they fly away. Apparently. Mm, no, I haven't taken a lighter <laughs> in years. Look, automatically, you like. I haven't taken it. I haven't taken a lighter in years, and that's just the truth. Guilty because conscious, huh? I already have mine. In my case, that I can identify, I can't. I'm not gonna mistake it with chores. He said that because he just got like a it's ten. Mine. He so just, so he's you got don't like really like lend ones. it out, right? Or if somebody needs a light, you light them up. No, I'll 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 give it to him because I know he's gonna give it back. If it was just a regular lighter without this fucking case on it, it might go in somebody's pocket because anyone and everyone is used to just lighting it up. Oh shit. Put it back because you think it's yours because you have one. But then you f look in your other pocket and there goes your lighter and you just smash someone else's. I've given people back the case back and there's nothing in it. Like, and they don't notice it. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, what, I'll uh, give it back from the it, bottom They'll of? put it in their pocket like this motherfucker when they <laughs> yeah, reach. Yeah, but it's, it's the motherfuckers that, like, know that they didn't <clears throat> come to the spot with a lighter. Yeah, they're going to put that shit in their pocket. Yeah, it happens. It's like, come on, you know, if, if we just installed uh, one of those things that they used to blow glass, 
<laughs> I, used, I remember for a while I had that uh, that like uh, that ret- retrievable you'd lighter oh, yeah. like you'd put it on the side of your like nerd your belt loop. yeah oh. it was some nerd shit it was some nerd shit that's some hack shit bro nerd. yeah you would hook it on hack. your belt loop and shit no, nah, I mean it is it's cool. Kinda, it 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 is a little tack. This is four or like, five. Like you know years who ago. has one of those, bro? Cairo has one of those, and every time he lets somebody borrow his ladder, he's like it's super powered him. He's like, yeah, pull it. Yeah. Like he's like, I'll light your shit up. This is like four <laughs> or five years ago. Shit, <laughs> light it up. Forgetting your forgetting your lighter here is like <clears throat> forgetting your uh, pencils in school. But you like know what? Yeah. This table should that's, have that's them. Exa- all- you know what? That's a great. Analogy. Bring your. Then you take it, and then that person's without their fucking pencil, and they can't do their quiz, and they're fucked. Like it happens here all the time. Yeah, you know what? People be taking <laughs> shit. That's what I'm saying. I mean, lighter theft is so common in the stoner world. It's like you can't even stop. You can't even prevent it. It's the main crime. It really is. It's the number one crime stoners commit. I think. Well, you probably- know what? No, the main crime. A stoner will commit is a stoner who comes. It's I said it in a song. Ain't got no kind of love for a homie who comes to the party with no, no bud. bud. Know what I'm saying? You hear that, Cairo? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dropping bombs. I mean, right in there. Green Thumb University, it's different. But like, let's just say you're somewhere, and you know you're going out and you're meeting with your homies, and everybody breaks out some a bag. <laughs> Right, but there's always always the one guy. He knows that everybody's bringing a bag, so he don't got to bring one or her. Right, because you know females are um part of this equation too, where they'll come party off of everybody else's bag, but they ain't breaking out. Oh, for their sure, bag. you got a sack. Mm, it's gone, bro. That is the main crime right there. Yeah, like dog. That's like girls get free drugs all the time. Say, so, oh, you that guy, or you that girl. Yep. You owe oh, you that one. Nah. I remember that, you know, when we used to kick it at the, at the bow a lot. If someone came to the table, you know, let's just say, because we were there pretty much every night. And if somebody came, kept coming to the table and smoking out our weed and we knew they had a bag and they didn't, eventually we'd fucking give them the business, which is we're going to pass the joint around. This is when we pass yeah. joints around. Yeah. Um but you're going to skip this motherfucker right here. And oh, yeah. that person would trip out because they'd be like, what? How come? What? Uh, you know, they would think, oh, it's a joke. Then the next one would get blazed. Yeah. And then they wouldn't get past <clears throat> the joint again. And they'd be like, what the fuck is going on? And then the third one would happen. And then they really know, okay, they're not passing me this shit on purpose. You know yep. what? I'm out of here. Yeah, you're out of here. Go roll up your fucking weed. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The don't cold be shoulder. Don't be coming, you know, if you're contributing cool, even if it's a little bit whatever, you know what I'm saying? But don't be v- being the vulture. Right, that's terrible. That's that's one of the the high crimes. Yeah. Don't be a hawk. And if you bring boof into the circle of the Ooh. goodness, that is the biggest crime. Ooh. And you can smell it too. If someone lights it up, they're like, "Oh, you got to try this." And, and that's boof. And you just got that Smell oh. of like, Ooh. hey, fucky, you're right. Yeah, yes. you, ever, you ever like somebody that does have boof or like you could smell it, like it smells like leaves burning? Yeah, it just smells like, you know, like it's boof. fucked up, man. It's, it's just yeah. horrible, horrible smell. I keep a fucking special stash of like pre rolls that people have given to me. Just like, I'm like, cause I'm like, yo, man, boof this, rolls. This is, I'm like, this is a fucking upgrade to if I ever smell that in the air, I'll fucking be like, hey, man. There you go. Here, Here man. Take this. Take this. Take, yeah, like <laughs> I know this pre roll is probably gonna be way better than that smell. Hey, you're doing yeah. them. You're doing them a favor, though. To be honest with you, that's like a fucking good deed. That's a service. You you, you hear a bell and the angel get their fucking ring wings at that time when you when you take a booth joint from someone, throw it to the ground, and say, "Here, smoke this." Yep. You a lot of the, a lot of the times they already right. know they're not smoking good shit because they will like they like, they'll look at you and they'll be like, "Damn, thanks," because like. And they'll fucking stop smoking their shit. I mean, I get it. Everybody's been there at some point in their life. But, like, you know, if you, I'm like, fuck that. That's the one thing I'll be like. Look, I'll tell you what. It, put... It's the thought that counts, though. If someone well, comes and all they have is boof and they don't even know it, that's, you know, lack of education. But at least they're trying to bring something, right? They're trying to be thoughtful. Yes. Like, this is all I got. But I'll fucking break it down with you. I'll break bread with you. You know, for yeah. me, when people have, have come to, instead of just saying no, because people get offended if you say no to smoking weed with 
them. Yeah. Right. Um, I've learned that you don't necessarily got to smoke their weed. Yeah. To smoke weed with them. Right. I'll be like, hey, look, <clears throat> I appreciate the the sentiment and I'm down to smoke with you. But let me give you this experience instead of me smoking from your bag, I'd like you to smoke from my bag. Because how often are they going to... You know what I mean? You, you, right. you almost flip it on them. I know and, what you mean. And, and man, the experience they get when they fucking smoke what's out of my bag in comparison yeah. to what's in their bag. It's a difference. Yeah. Big fucking difference. And, you know, either you can handle it or you can't. But at least no one has touched Boof. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, it, you know, it's not necessarily insulting to your weed. It's just I'm trying to give you a different experience. Now, if you got weed as good as mine or better, cool. I'm just yeah. totally, <laughs> I am not a fucking weed snob. I used to be, for sure. But, you know, I'm down for flavors. Flavors are rad. Flavors yeah. are great. Nothing wrong with flavors. Flavors. Nothing wrong with There's flavors. There's nothing wrong with them at we all. know the flavors. I like flavors. I love flavors. Yeah, you smoked some. You smoked some flavors this weekend, huh? I smoked many flavors. I saw, this saw your post. I was like, ay, ay, ay. I was like, right. I was like, damn. My dad yep. didn't tell me. I had <laughs> that. I had that. I had a. I had the hot box by Craft Beer Kings on deck. I had a Seed Junkie strain. Nice. Um, funky fill tip to you know make sure that it goes down properly. That's and right. you know, hey, I had a I had to ease back Sunday, Papa. Not a bad good. idea. No boof. No. And the Lakers won. All good. Okay. I've, I've been like... fucking drinking the stouts with the the stouts are good. But no, but like I I I don't want to drink like multiple ones and they're already high in alcohol. But ever since we did that that the car bomb, they just fucking hey, you gave me a bottle of cognac. I just dumped like a little shot in there. Hey, and that shit is good. That shit fucking ups it up, dog. Hey you're, man, you're that, good. Hey, that fucking car bomb we did last week was awesome. Hey, look and salute to everybody who's fucked with our hot box collaboration with Craft Beer Kings. Um, people are giving us a lot of great feedback. Thank you, um, and stay tuned because we got others to come. We got E Zone's line coming, and then we got another, you know, line of this shit coming. Um, we're gonna hit you with flavors. You got a stout coming up too, man, because like yes. you're gonna do different versions. And then there's a, I mean, there, there, this is, I mean, this is already pretty much sold out. If you can find that online, definitely get it. Yes. However, I was like, don't worry. If you didn't get to try it, there's gonna be something special coming up. Yeah. You know, for 420. True that. And salute to Craft Beer Kings once again. They fucking put the flavor together. That's right. Yeah, oh, it's that guy Mo awesome. out there, man. What Shout about out to the, you, Mo. What about the Yobo Energy drink? Oh, your Yobo <laughs> Energy drink. <laughs> Yobo. Yeah. We, we, you, we want to come up with that? Let's I mean, do why, that. Come why on. Why Oh I mean, my God! With the, did, you just, did you see the that car- just sounds cool? Did you see the cartoon? <laughs> oh yeah, you posted it. I posted. Yeah. It. Well, I posted the 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 still of it. I I don't know if there's an actual cartoon. No, well that's like, what I meant. The the, the, okay. the drawing. Yeah. Sixteen bit was, as an artist, yeah, I think. Yeah, sixteen bit. Salute to sixteen bit. That shit. Was did you see awesome. it? Bro? Yeah. yeah. Well, he so saw it. He didn't like it. <laughs> he didn't comment on it. I did like it. I did. I didn't like it. I I don't know if I gave it some laughs. Oh, it doesn't. Yes. It doesn't feel good, huh? No, you know what. No, I say I say it because I'm gonna post it myself. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm like, you know, this could be a thing. Imagine if you could really do that. Put your leg above your head like that. I'm get stuck right now. This is not <laughs> stuck. I'll be stuck. Yo, oh. that shit hurts, bro. No, man, I'm telling you, I was, I was doing that shit this morning, yoga this morning. Listen, Wally. And I said, Wally. man, you know, I said, man, I think I'm gonna get stuck right now, man. I'm, I'm gonna get stuck. It's going to be fucked up, but I'm, but I'm like, they get stuck. Imagine you, you were in that position. Like, I, you know what? Skinny Pablo, can you show this illustration? It's on my Instagram or unless you already have it. It's on your Instagram? Yes. It's, yes. You will see it. Um, <clears throat> If you were in this position and you caught a cramp, <laughs> what Ooh. could you do? Like the kind that ball up? <laughs> Any kind of crap. Man. I mean, usually you'd be too limber, but. No, no. Oh, you caught a crap right there. You caught a crap right there. Like a Charlie nah, horse? Bro. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> no, nah, man. I get Charlie horse? I, I get Woo! this. Yeah, I mean, I definitely. This is cool, man. 
Can can you work on the shorts next time? <laughs> that, that, that's how you that's how you work yo bo dog. Yeah, that's yo. I, those I, aren't I shorts. Know. I don't know. That's like a fucking that's a thong. He's uh, got, a banana he's sack. Got a banana. A banana. Banana sack. If Bobo had catering before he practiced Yobo. Wow. Oh, man. I like how you're standing on two toes. Bobo, two toes. Damn. That's a lot of strength right there. That's, yeah. that's strength Powerful. on your toes, man. Strong. You know, and you have Genix behind you? You know, there that's, it is, that's, man. That's Yobo Genix. You know, new Genix. Total Yobo. <laughs> King Kong ain't got shit on me. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, yes. And your girl will like it too. No, no, no. And she'll like she'll it too. She'll like it. All right, you know, whatever you know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I yo know bo. what you're talking about. Yo bo. Yo bo. Yo. <laughs> right. Give me some of that yo bo. No bo you know what? <gasps> yo bo is backwards, right? Boy yo. Boy yo. Oh boy. Stop it. I didn't start it. No, you did. Oh, yo. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Now shut the fuck up. Boy, yo. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow, bro. Is that really necessary? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, whoever wow. that was, that was out of line. Man, can, it was. How would Paul Stanley sound going to GNC getting some Yobo? <laughs> ah, yo, yeah. Yobo Genix. Uh, uh, may I help you, sir? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> sir, may I help you? I was wondering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you have... <laughs> well, do you have any of that Yobo Genix? Yes, sir, I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me about four packages. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Gonna bring some back for Gene. <laughs> Make that double. Need to get some for Gene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You can make your own pill now, bro. These guys will buy it. What? Oh, nah. Man, they would buy it, bro. You know, well, man, we need to <laughs> talk to some companies, man. We need to, you know, what do we, what do we do here, man? Because this is something, this can grow, man. That's this could. This can really grow. This, yeah. is, man, this, is, this could be the new, the new supplement for the ages. Yo, yo, bo, yo, bo, pull the weed and. <laughs> man, yo, bo, yo, I'm bo. telling you, bro. I mean, come on, you know? there hasn't been any of those products that have been advertised in a in a like or including uh, weed in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this would be the first of its kind. I mean, in the commercial, you could be smoking. You know what I mean? See, now there there have been studies that you know weed does uh, work and enhance in your sexual you know and workout activities. Gives you, you know? maximum focus. You know what I mean? So oh, Yobo yeah. just having a few drops in there. Focus for the fuckers. Yeah, mm, like that. that? Yobo. That's a T-shirt. <laughs> Yobo, focus for the fuckers. Fuckers. For the fuckers. Yeah, not a. Yeah, yeah but it sounds cooler with an a. Fuckers instead of ers. Fuckers. Focus for the though. fuck. Well, no, that could be another T-shirt too. <laughs> focus for the fuckers. <laughs> Oh, shit. It's focus from a gun, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those days, huh? Ooh, I guess so. <laughs> True that. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. You gotta take those shots, man. <laughs> take them when you can get them. You, hey, know man, you can give me all the shots, man. You can take all the shots, <laughs> but I can't give all the shots. Give me all the oh. shots. <laughs> That was classic. <laughs> Give me all the shots. Oh man, man! I, don't know. I will never, ever. I'll, I'll never forget, forget that shit. We were both in the same room when we heard that one. Yeah. Oh look, so <clears throat> during during Temples of Boom, we asked for a meeting with with Sony with with Donnie Einer, the one of the heads of Sony. There was Tommy Mottola, Donnie Einer. Yep. And Donnie loved us. He was, you know, always an advocate for Cypress Hill, no matter what was going on. That's cool. Um, he didn't fucking go for excuses. You either had results or your fucking head was getting chopped off, so to speak. You know okay. what I'm saying? If you were at Sony, right? Mm -hmm. well, many people could say this because he was unforgiving. <laughs> he was cool. I met him. Cool dude. Yeah. But he didn't play the bullshit no, when he, he came for the deal, right? So... We go up there, and 
you know, we feel like there's a disconnect somewhere and we go, go there to state our case of there is a disconnect up here. You know, we don't feel the love we used to feel up here and, you know, there's just certain things not that, that don't add up in how our push is going, mm -hmm. right? This department doesn't, you know, push us. This one wants to push us, but no one knows which one's going to push us. I went, went up there. We, we all went up there with the list of shit going on. Mind you, we were having um, management issues, and then, you know, that was, you know, um, this is when Send Dog was, you know, sort of showing up and not showing up to certain gigs and, and certain things and whatnot. And there was just a whole lot of fuck shit happening. Hence, when I was very, you know, angry in this time that Bobo always t references to. TV out the window angry, there. Those times. Those times. Right. Ooh. And so, you know, I'm, I'm running through the list of like, you know, the shit that's not going right. And tell them, hey, we're franchise players here with you guys. We want to be with you guys. You know, we understand the history. We're trying to do all we can. And we feel we've we've done everything we're supposed to do. And we're not getting the fucking support that we used to get here. And if, if we're not going to be supported, I mean, you know, just do us the favor and, and fucking let us go. I don't, we don't want to go, but if, I mean, you guys don't, you know, if you don't have any faith in us, just fucking, you know, maybe you should let us go. Yeah. And he, and yeah, he, he came in strong. I it came was, in strong. strong. I came Damn. in strong. That came was... in strong. And then, and then Donnie spoke. He goes, <laughs> what does he say to me? What does he say to me? Bobo said again. <laughs> he said, all right, all right, all right. You want to talk like men? Okay, let's talk like men. Okay. Send dog, we don't even know who he's in the fucking group anymore, huh? <laughs> and then, man, we love you guys. Who the fuck, who the fuck is not supporting you over there? I'll get him on the phone right now and fucking fire them motherfuckers right now. Damn. He came in like this. And then I came in. Whoa, whoa, Donnie, whoa. We don't want to fire nobody, man. We just want, <laughs> we just want support. <laughs> And, you know, it was like that. It, he shut it down real quick. Like, you tell me who is not supporting, and we will cut their asses out right now. Damn, that's and I dope. Didn't, and I didn't want to cost nobody their fucking job, and I wasn't going to fucking point nobody out that, like that. That's, that's him. <laughs> him. Him, him, her, he did it. and him. Get him out. He would have done it. He would have done it right there Damn. on the spot. He, he would have fucking done it because he was a G like that. But, he, you know, he says, that, yeah, he, he, at first he goes, you don't even know who's in the fucking group right now. <laughs> You're at odds with your manager. You can't get this guy to commit to touring. I mean, you know, what's going on? Damn, real I mean, quick. He, no, he came real uh, like Tony Soprano on that shit. Yeah, and, and, and then I had to say, well, you know, we're trying to get this and this happening. We're trying to figure this shit out. We talked like men, but like he stomped out the fire real quick because, you know, you know realistically, our house was was kind of like, you know, in the whirlwind at that point. And he wow. like made sure that he pointed that out. Like, hey, we don't know what's happening with you guys. I mean, look, this is happening, this is happening, and this is happening. We don't know how committed you are. Man. But the fact that we came there and said, "Hey, listen, we are fucking committed. What the fuck is happening?" We he saw the the disconnect that was happening and he fixed it. And you know, we went on to fucking do good business with that Temple of Boom Records because yeah. at that point they were ready to like you know, they were ready to fucking pull the plug on us because they thought, oh well, you know, their first two albums great, their third one they're probably not gonna do do nothing because you know. The third album is always the hardest to was, get by. That was yeah, a, that was a crazy, it was crazy time. time Damn. You know what I mean? And this, I was th so. This is the reason. One of the reasons I was very angry at this time, just because all that shit was happening, and then you know the reality check he gave me. Damn. He gave me a reality check right there because I wasn't seeing all what he pointed out. I knew it was happening because we, we were going through it. But he gave you Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross truth. It didn't. It didn't calculate in my mind that a part of why we weren't getting what we were normally getting is because they're watching us from the outside, thinking, "Okay, this shit might not have we're kind right. of imploding much longer." 
Right. But we pulled it together, and they saw we pulled it together, and they got back behind us. But for that small time, but that the his opening statement, you want to talk like men? Let's talk like men. First of all, <laughs> you don't even know who's in the group anymore. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> like, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Man, you know. <laughs> you know, and like, you know, you right. You right. But, man, the way he came in it like that. Yeah. That was so fucking classic, so OG. I was like, like mm, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, all right. Okay. Yeah. Shit got yeah. real real yeah. quick. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Yeah. Gonna, he runs this shit. Doesn't he? Made a point. <laughs> Yeah, he runs this shit for a reason, right? Yeah. <laughs> but he was always our biggest advocate. You know what I'm saying? Even after that, yeah. he took it for what it was. He listened to us. He helped us fix it, and fucking, we went on from there. And he was always the guy pushing. And we all, and we, and I made sure to tell him, look, we know you love us. We know you love us. But there's people under you that may not love us as much. And we don't get the support. They'd rather support some of these newer artists coming in. And, you know, unless you come in and say some shit, certain shit isn't going to get done. Who doesn't love you? Huh? You tell me who the fuck doesn't love you guys. I'll fucking fire them right the fuck now. Yep. Damn. <clears throat> That's how he answered that. That's support. Yo. And man. I wasn't going to fucking take somebody's job from him. Damn. But he understood what I was saying. Yo, there was another time that we went in there and we talked to Donnie. Oh, shit. And this is when he actually then brought in. He snapped on the lawyer, huh? Yeah, he snapped on the lawyer. He sna And he snapped on two employees. Oh. Who, who, who shall remain nameless. Shall remain nameless. Oh, right? shit. But he snapped on. And he called them into the office. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then... He says, all right, uh, you know, back in my days, you know, when we wanted a song oh, to play oh, on the radio. Oh, hold up. Oh, let me give you some backstory. Okay, go ahead. You do that. So he was asking how was the singles doing at the time. And I think it was Throw Your Scent in Air and something else. <laughs> and the guy's tell, well, you know, Donnie, um, it's tough, you know, because this and that and the other. He's given a thousand excuses. And then Donnie replies with this. You know, back in my day, you know, when we wanted to have something played on the radio, you know, we paid it. We went up there and we fucking made it happen. You know, there wasn't no fucking pussy. You guys are fucking pussies right now. You don't know what the fuck to do over here. He said, <laughs> you guys these days, you guys yeah. got to suck dick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And you can't Donnie. even do that right. Yo, yeah, yeah, he said that. Donnie. He said, you guys can't have to suck dick to fucking play to get the music played. And you can't even do that right. Wow. wow. And, you know. He was ice cold blooded. And he said that in front of us and in front of the two employees. Oh, yeah. And, of course. This guy was like, you know. They wasn't going to say still talk nothing. To him? No, we haven't talked to Donnie in, in forever, but, you know, salute to him. The other, the other one I seen was when he checked our lawyer. We had a lawyer. Ooh. I shall not say his name. Mm. We no longer have that lawyer. For many, many, many years, but he was our first one going in, <laughs> and he's he's a he's a name, you know. He <laughs> you go into the we went into the meeting, and, and Donnie asked that our manager Happy Walters be there and our lawyer be there, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and and the band or the group be there, right? So we go through the meeting, and then he you know says, "All right, I'm good with you guys. I got to speak with." your reps right here so you know you guys have a good time good luck with the tour coming up blah, 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 blah. i'll talk to you soon as we're leaving we we stood outside the door for a second because we were talking to one of uh i think we were talking to howard wolfen or something he was the guy g you know howard. press and and all that shit he was the g one of our one of our staunch supporters right there anyway we're we're sitting there talking to him and he and we can hear in the background donnie said look the next time you come to sit down with me, you, he points to the lawyer, he po you better have a fucking suit on. Don't ever come in my office. You, the lawyer, you better have some fucking respect and come in a fucking suit. I don't want to see you in sneakers, in jeans, in a fucking T-shirt. Happy you're cool. You're the manager. I can respect that. You, you're a lawyer. You come in a fucking suit. You understand me? 
he understood him. He never went yeah. back into that office without a motherfucking suit. Damn. And you know what? Lawyers, right. lawyers had to right. be lawyers. You cannot come casual to nah. a meeting with the fucking big wig. No. Especially when you're a peon lawyer at the time. Oof. No, and you you're can't. talking to one of the biggest dudes in the fucking music game. That part. Disrespect. You, you don't come like that. Man, you got to put some respect on that. Managers and artists, different deal. They can come, you know, casual. As you right. are. Lawyers, nah. You better be fucking dressed up when you talk <clears throat> to yeah. me. That That's what Donnie's deal was. He made you fucking comply. That's right. He yeah. was a G. Yeah. Respect that. Was, that. No, that was great shit. And then what was also great is like when you come up, go up there for a meeting, you know, they'd have a room for us to be able to smoke and blaze out. And it was no problem. Mm. No one told us no. You want to know something, Bobo? We got a room for everyone to blaze out. It's called the Insane Asylum. And guess what? The passage is smashing that fucking like right mm -hmm. now, please. Thank you very much. Wow. That's your admission to the asylum, please. Thank you very much. Smash that like button wow. right now. And if you're not subscribing to Be Real TV already, do it. We no. invite you. We dare you. We triple fucking dare you. I dare you, dog. Quit playing. Quit playing. Triple dog dare if you. If you're down with this, you're down with this 100%, man. Equal this shit out right now, all right? Please. Let's see. Let's see if you do it. Will you motherfuckers activate? Wow. I don't know. Will you? If you do, I still got love. For, if you don't, I still got love for you, but I'd rather you do it. So um, there's, some, like, four, there's 492 right now. Y'all should get it to, you know, there's 600 of you that need to smash that shit. So please do smash it right now. Thank you. Fam. Yeah. Fam. But yeah, Donnie was a cold piece. He kept motherfuckers on their feet. Yeah, most, most, definitely. most definitely. He kept us on our feet. I learned from that guy. And it's, you don't put up with excuses and you don't stand for no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to talk to someone real, take into account every <laughs> aspect of it. Yeah. Front and back. You got to look at it this way. Like, not too many people get to to meet the prez or vice prez, you know, like on the on a constant, like be able to go up there and say, you know, I like a meeting. Yeah, them, he ain't know? go to, you ain't, a lot of artists ain't going to get that meeting. A lot of artists are not going to get that meeting. So I You'll mean, talk to your A&R guy and maybe somebody else. But. Yeah, you ain't going to get that high up. You ain't going to go to that office. So to be able to do that, you know, Often enough, when needed, because that was it was never abused. But when needed, to be able to say, "Yo, you know, you know, this is the deal. This is what we feel, or whatever like that," you know. And if yeah. he had to put you in the place, he did it out of love and respect. You know, yeah. as long as you came correct. It's important to have a motherfucker like that. That's gonna be one thousand with you, good and bad. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and I, I always give him props. I you know, most people that leave labels leave on bad terms. We didn't leave Sony on bad terms. You know, they were good to us. Sir sure, sure, like any label they they drop the ball on certain things, but they were they, they were good to us. And he was really good to us, you know, as the label head, as the fucking guy calling the shots yeah. or one of you know, he was always uh, on our team, so you know I could never fucking roll away saying that Sony was a bad experience. Nah, man. You know, it had to come to an end because music was changing, and you know, it's a business. Yeah. And a different team there too. You know, Definitely different team. Yeah. It's different than you know after the first couple of years. You know, the team up there at the label may change. Mm -hmm. Because not everybody just stays A and R up there for forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that shit is constantly changing. And every new new guy or new person that goes up in there, they want to establish their own shit. They don't really want to have to just yeah. worry about the established artists. They're trying to make their name with bringing in a new artist. Yeah. yeah. And they figure that, oh well, Cypress they go platinum regardless. You know, they got the fucking fan base. They're going, you know. So we really don't have to push them as much. True that. So so they never really gave. You know, not that they didn't care, but they didn't give their 100% effort. 
effort, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Because it was trying to get theirs, you know what I mean? And, you know. Gave yeah. Them you got to get yours. Yeah. But, you know, that this is the nature of the game. Take care, take care of the people that are part of the foundation to make you be able to do what you do. You know, the minute that you start selling millions of albums, you know, you're you're part of a foundation. You're now a part, part of a winning a, team. A part of a winning team. Yeah. So it's like, don't forget the winners. Yeah. Because that's I mean? the problem, you know. Uh, in the label, some, some motherfuckers ain't going to go up no matter how successful they were at their job in terms of going up on the of, of the ladder when they want to in that company. It might take them much longer time to get to an elevated position, whereas another company might see the, the work you did over here at this label and say, hey, man, we need somebody like that on our fucking team. Yeah. And they may go pay him more or her or him more money mm -hmm. to go to their label to do what he's doing over here. But it may not work out over there. It's a chance you take because, yeah. you know, it's a team effort. It's not about one fucking person. But if you start taking pieces of that team away and putting them in, them in different places, it's not the same team and it's not the same chemistry and they don't have the same get down. Everybody wants to try something different and new and not that doesn't always work. When you have a formula and you have a chemistry, you want to keep that together. But labels are notoriously horrible at doing shit <clears throat> like that. Yeah. Because they don't ever want to give anyone more than they think they deserve. Damn. Word. I told Word. You. you know, when uh, when I was DJing on radio back in the night, when, you know, throw your set in the air, I remember, like, when, you know, every week at the, at the station, record reps would come up to have meetings with the music director. And they would always, and, and always... The, the Columbia guys, the Sony guys would always be like, hey, we got this Cypress Hill record. They would always make sure to like pump us like, you know, hey, yeah. there's a new Cypress coming. Just be ready. We'll get it to you as soon as it's done. Come they, on, don't bullshit me. For real, no, it was dope. And then like, it was a race because, you know, at the time, you know, Power was at, was at, uh, was at you know, in competition with the beats. So if they had a record for both stations, they would send them both out via messenger and whoever got it first and put it on the air first had rights. <laughs> so when you guys, when the, when the label press throw you set in the air, they did the same thing and we got it. And I was happened to be in the mix at that time and I played it like five or six o'clock hour. On and the Friday. most embarrassing part of it all was that we were working at the beat at the time. Oh. <laughs> and our radio station that we worked at did not support the way that you guys did. That was an embarrassment on them. I, I wow. was like, man, y'all made yourself look so stupid. Mm. You yeah. know, I love them, but like at the same time, I am very like, you you kind of did us wrong. We we <clears throat> thought for sure that they were gonna be playing it as much as we were because you no. guys were on this. You know, you guys had a show. Mm -hmm. you guys they were... said Green Thumb, or no, uh, whatever it is. What was what was Throw it? Set? They, they said set. it didn't test well. Wow. I'm like, it didn't test well. Why are you testing anything? Yeah, oh so yeah, they used to do research, call out research. So I think I think that when Cypress Four came out, yeah, they didn't even want to rotate. You know, uh, but green thumb. Yeah, Damn. they didn't want to. They didn't want to do it. But you know, the yeah. mix, the the mix DJs, they were putting it in the mix. Yep. You know, what I mean, because that shit was like kind of banging and shit. And then you know, the video came out, so we, the shit started banging on on power. You know, they didn't want to be left out. And then you know, B was putting pressure on them. They just needed, you know, they needed a, a whole clean out of what the way they was wanted to market us. You know, yeah, they didn't even support the radio show, which you know, yeah, I, we, I don't we, get that. Yeah, we built that all ourselves. They they never did promos on you guys, right? Because uh, like, they were afraid. Never. They were afraid. I mean, we were very aggressive in in the style of show we were running. <laughs> I mean, here, Man. look. Let me just give you an example. All right, I'm going to give you an example real quick. This this was. A, I'm just give you a short example of one of our. <laughs> One of our bits, if I could find it right here, is too long. So I'm just only going to play a little bit. But this is the type of shit we were running on radio. Ezone, you still with us over there, yeah, Papa? Yeah, I'm listening to you guys. Cool. Hello, my name is Lou Dickstrong, and I'm the... 
Hello, my name is Lou Dickstrong, and I'm the inventor of the Lou Dickstrong Penis Pump. When I introduced my penis pump to the world, it did wonders for so many people. But now, we at the Get Hard Laboratories have created a new device. That's right, a brand new device. Do you ever get tired of those bothersome jock jokers, dick riders, nut huggers, and all others who are on your tip? Well, then you <laughs> ought to try our new Lou Dick Strong nut handles. It's easy. You simply attach the nut handles to the outer portion of your testicles with our Get Hard Adhesive. We at the Get Hard Lab have so much faith in our product, we sent a few of our nut handles to a few people, and here's what they had to say after trying our product. Aw, oh, yeah. My name is MC Glamour, and I'm a rapper on Fish Hole Records. I got to say, this invention is incredible. I mean, people were riding my tip after my show last night. I attached the nut handles on, and let me tell you, Lou, people got the best workout of their life. Hey man, I got all that songs, man. I got every tape. I got every album, man. And I have an Three. autograph, man. Uh, 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 can, 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 can you sign one for my sister? Uh, one for me too, man. And my cousin. Uh, you know what? Matter of fact, I got this tape, man. Three. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't wow. know what you're doing over there. Right? You that doesn't there even match, is... but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know we were doing fucked up shit like that that was on regular radio and, and, and yeah. that was just that was like the tame shit <laughs> yeah that was the tame shit because the real shit was very fucked up oh man um yeah so i would i would say that's probably probably why they did not promote us because we were just too fucking way out there wow <laughs> but yeah, we always tripped out that we played the shit out of every record, you know, even like uh, we got the the Q-Tip remix of uh, Illusions in rotation over at, at Power, mm -hmm. like, and we were like, yo, this is like, would seem like a go-to if they're on the beat, but we never heard it. Mm. Thought it would go hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we were thinking a lot of things, we were thinking that, you know, they loved us. So you just weren't allowed to swear. Oh yeah, they, yeah, you weren't allowed to swear. <laughs> we we would bleep all the swear words out. Yeah, because it was funnier when you heard the bleep. Yeah, if the punchline was fucking good enough, the bleep sort of added something to it. Yeah. I we have a bunch of the audio down downstairs. Maybe we'll chop it up and let these motherfuckers hear it. That was some wild. Because there's some classic. We used to do these things. Uh, the top ten list. Oh yeah, we had a top ten oh, list. Oh, the top ten list was stupid. Man, we had so much shit going on, and like on, like I said, regular radio callers calling in. We had the dopest DJs doing the mixes. You yeah, know, you did. I mean, it was oh, it was wild, man. Good times. Yeah, that was a crazy show. We was getting lit. The shit we would hear from people that called in. This dude, we had these things called scandalous calls, right? Like prank calls? <laughs> like no, we we told we we would do giveaways, ticket giveaways to shows and this and that. We would usually do it to our scandalous calls, and we would come up with this just themes like, what's the most fucked up thing that someone's ever done to you or you've done to somebody and and stuff like that, right? And this dude comes, what well, the fucked up thing that I ever did, bro? He calls us up. Um, the fucked up thing that I ever did was like, you know, I was, you know, I got my girlfriend and shit and, you know, I can't stand that bitch. <laughs> Fucking hate her. So you know what I did? And we're like... What did you do? He goes, I went and fucked some other chick at the fucking drive-in, and when I went home, I made her suck my dick after, oh, and I didn't even shower. Damn. Oh. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> wow. Why not just? Yeah. And we're yeah. like, damn. Be out. That is a scandalous story. Yeah, scandalous as fuck. God damn. Yeah. So you know, things were like. Do you that. remember that story? I remember that. Oh. That was like, I mean, <laughs> I was like, that's like, fucked damn. up. Damn. Yeah, it goes down like that. That's cold as ice. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's terrible. I mean, you think they were, her, they were telling the truth? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Definitely there was some... There was some. There truth. was stories we knew were full of shit, Yeah. but then there was <laughs> other stories we know that, okay, yeah, that's probably real. Oh. His, hey, I don't know. We thought it was real. That shit is nasty, bro. But there was this other one. And this is when we were doing the show in San Francisco, right? Um, this fucking chick calls and we was like, what's the most scandalous thing that ever happened to you? Because it was Mother's Day. What's the most scandalous thing ever happened to you on Mother's Day? And this chick 
proceeds to tell us the story how, you know, her family went out and her her her, her <laughs> father is her stepfather, and they don't really get along, and uh, they all went out. And uh, I, I don't know if it was for New Year's or some shit like this. And they fucking, you know, they say, hey, be here back. We're all going to meet back here at midnight, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so they go off. She comes back maybe five, ten, min- ten minutes late. And when she shows up, dude is fucking hammered. And he starts whooping her ass in front of everybody. This is not even his, like, actual daughter. Damn. He just starts whooping her ass in front of everybody. What? In front of the mother, in front of the friends, this and that. And she, you know, she tells us that's the most scandalous thing that ever happened on Mother's Day to me. The worst part about it is that my mother watched and do, didn't do shit about it. And, you know, now he, you know, he tries to intimidate and this and that. So we were like, give us his number. So we called him on air, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We called him on air. We said, you know, oh, you like putting your hands on people, huh? Mm. You know, we were like, <laughs> we were like going out. We yeah. scared the living shit out of this fucking guy, and she she called us back. I don't know how much you know, maybe <clears throat> six months, seven months later, and she said like he leaves me the fuck alone now. Thank you. Word. But that was, it was uh, it was hilarious though. We we scared the shit out to us. It was hilarious. It was a very serious thing. That this dude was like, you know, beating up on his fucking daughter like that, but and we, we put it on the air. We put it on the air. We scared the damn. Fuck that's out of crazy. That guy. Yeah. yeah, where's that recording? That probably is in the archive. I gotta find it. Well, I don't know if that one exists because that, that was in, in San, San Francisco. That was in San Francisco. Oh, wow. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't record those shows the same way we did L.A. That's so crazy. You guys fly from L.A. to San Francisco. We would drive it. Drive it. Yeah. Damn. And damn, just to go be on the air at KML. Yeah, we we, we drove and then this is a few times that we there was flew. a couple times we flew. We yeah. flew. We started to do the, the Southwest Ballin'. thing, you know. What I mean, and go straight to the the station, and we were done. Go straight to the airport and fly back. Fly right back. That's tight. So it was like that. Nyeow, nyeow, like that. Like I, that's like a day. That's a full day. Of truly life. odd was DJ for us right then. It was truly odd. And who else? Um, Jay Turner, rest Jay Turner, in peace. Yes. Ralph Hell Femme yeah. and Ralph M. Yeah, that's dope. That's where the two minute mix was developed. <laughs> the Jay Turner <laughs> two minute mega mix, because uh, that's all the time Ralph M and fucking <laughs> Truly Odd would leave him was like uh, two minutes. <laughs> damn, yeah, ice cold. TRT. Yeah, man, oh, man. Hell yeah, he was always a part of the show in some way. Oh man, he's the best. Word up. Two oh, what? When is it? Was it a? Uh, TRT thoughts. What, what was oh, the thing? Yeah, we have some of those. Yeah, we did hear some of those. We, uh, oh, we got to chop them up and yeah. I got to put them here. Uh, Deep Thoughts Deep. By, by TRT. Yo. Oh, man. <laughs> he his had shit, some shit. His shit was <laughs> oh, hilarious. <laughs> Damn. Was fucking hilarious. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was some good times, man. Doing radio back then was fun. You couldn't do any of the shit we were doing now. Oh no! Fuck no! Fuck no! <laughs> On a regular radio, no. You had to take it to the satellite. Yeah, yeah. satellite. Yeah, you could get away with it. You do it in you satellite. You say a lot of shit on satellite. Well, you know, yeah, it's yeah. not censored the same way. Yeah, you can say whatever. But there are stations that that like when they host their their shows, they don't they don't use expletives. Yeah. The Christian but that, channel. But but Shade Forty Five, they do. They don't give a fuck over there. Rock yeah. the bells. They try not to, but some shows do. Some some don't. It's just the they don't like not not in the music. I'm saying the way they host the show. The beauty of the the whole thing when we were doing it, and like when especially like during that time and Howard Stern time when he was on the regular radio, is that he just took it right to that edge. On regular <coughs> radio, really, you take it on, right to that would have loved to do. Oh, that man. show with us, dude. Oh, that dude. was set it up. Sounds like fun. Like, it, it was set up for guys like you. Like so, for instance, one of the things we did, we we started realizing, you know, like we could create like like the theater of the mind because they cannot see us, right? So we we could be off the chain with how we describe certain things or or whatever, right? So there was one show we said, okay. We're going to bring in 
a chick to get a piercing. And, you know, so we had a chick come in and do a piercing. And first we thought it was going to be a nipple piercing. Remember that? And then it turned out to be she wanted to have her clit clit pierced. At the radio station? At the radio station. This was not a great idea. But... (laughs) We rolled with it. We rolled with it. <laughs> you could, and and Bobo through. and I did the play by play. We were <laughs> watching it and we were, we were describing what was going on. <laughs> and then it got to the point where he was about to, you know, do do the piercing. Oh man. <laughs> and it's about to go down. And, blah, 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 blah. and he, you know, he pierced her and he was like, ah! and then <laughs> we were like, We'll be right back. Cut to commercial. <laughs> oh man. It was so fucking stupid, funny when at the time it happened, um, because the scream was everything. She didn't. It was. It wasn't really that bad, but it was her mind because we were kind of pumping it up, like doing a play by play on it. We're doing play by play. I mean, what happened after she screamed? She got pierced, and you know, eventually yeah. it was all okay. Oh, so she didn't freak out. She didn't. She freaked out in the moment. Know what I mean? But like she was actually cool because, and we cut to commercial, so you know. I mean, she knew was, that she was coming up there just, to get pierced. She knew that yeah. that's what was going on. But we were doing shit like that, and yeah. and it was just way off the chain. I don't know how they were allowing us to do that, but yeah, it was, you don't think they regulated shit like that? Um, at the time, or it wasn't a big deal. Maybe they just weren't paying attention. I don't know, yeah, but, we, but we were getting away with it. Damn, yeah, we I mean, were. We were we were a number one show in, in that slot over there at the station, saying that we were pretty popular, no matter where they moved us. Yeah, we had big ratings for a minute. No you matter guys, where they moved us, you guys were on Fridays, but you also were on Saturdays at one point, they, right? They would now and then have have us do the weekend, right? Because yeah. you know they they figured all right, they they know they kind of know what they're doing, right? And it would be cool to have them do more. So we, you know, we were like, all right. In a in an effort to always pump our platform, we would do the weekend shit now and then to pump up the Friday night show. You know, make sure to check us out on Friday night, Soul Assassins Radio, Whoop De Wop. And it worked. And we were doing that shit. <laughs> because we were different. <laughs> we were not polished at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not at all. And the crazy thing also is that when we went on the road we still still would do the show and we would record our our things and our intros and everything on mini disc but was this an interview about <laughs> soul assassins radio Pop-pop. i don't know i don't know what happened you know what <laughs> i mean we just got you know we got nostalgic you know, you know what yeah I mean? yeah it was fun it was, it was fun it shit, was fun you know yeah, this guy would have loved doing that show. Oh, he would have been amazing for it because there's a lot less uh, restriction, and you could get away with way more jokes. It wasn't such of a, it wasn't such a like a tight uh, perspective on what is viewed as funny or not. You know what I mean? As, yeah, it uh, sounds like you guys uh, were doing stuff that you would need to go to the internet to do it now. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and exactly. And then you, you know who was doing sketches for us was uh, Culture Clash. Yeah, they did. Remember they that? did some. Yeah, my family. <laughs> they did some. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they were they were doing some. Yeah, they they saw what we were doing and they said, "Hey man, here use this." And we would get, you know, we were doing our own voices and shit. We were doing oh, yeah. all the voices, acting the whole shit out, and yeah, it was it was funny. Word, it was. It was. It was. You want a beer? I will take one with you, bro. Oh, you already you rocked. Oh, you rocked we might that be one, needing huh? this. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, we have some fan art. You have some we fan do. art. You want to check it out? Yes. Shan- right. Please do. Uh, we got this first one. This is from Big Thumb Terry. Uh, let's see here. This is very interesting. It looks like uh, Dr. Green Thumb. All right. Well, we can't. And there we go. There go. Oh, like, wow. Oh, with a mullet. <laughs> okay. Uh, Business in the front, party in the back. All right. That looks like know. a lot of party. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe Tiger. What's his name? Mm. Joe, no. Joe Exotic. No, that's neither of those guys. <laughs> wow. That that's real great. dirt. That was, that was super dirt. Wow. Super dirt. 
That's okay. crazy. I, <laughs> I, how would you like having that hair? I think the hair needs to be darker to match my, you know. Oh, I think it's perfect. Yeah, it's good. Dyed it. You, you think it's good that color? Well, just that it's looks the, like a it's wig. It's the obvious that it's not, but it works, and you definitely see someone like that in mm. the Metallica parking lot. Okay. Fucking, All right. Like I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take yeah, that. Dude. I look like I went to a Metallica show. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah, like yeah like dude. Fuck it. Rock on. Dude, he's it's fucking Metallica. Uh, he's into Paul Stanley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got he's every Kiss album ever. Yeah, my favorite is the stuff with no makeup. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> How do you know what he says? Because yeah. I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> look it up on, bro. Oh, shit. We have another one. Break it down, yeah. son. This is from Ant. It's a it's a gif. A gif. A gif. A, gif. a loop. A gif. Ooh. Have you. So here it is. Let's see. It's Cairo oh. walking in. And Dennis the Menace. Cairo. Uh, oh, my God. That's creepy. Isn't that supposed to be me? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. That makes that's sense. Creepy. Somehow that makes sense. <laughs> that's creepy. That's that's like, hey B, I got the giveaway or whatever. Yeah, here. I ain't had hair like that in a long time. Damn. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> for real. He's a for real. Though. <laughs> for real. <laughs> for real though, you feel the player. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you know I prayed. Prayed. Um, is that it? Uh, we have another GIF. I guess this is me. Oh, oh no. someone, someone did me up. Oh, wow. That's even more disturbing. Is, is that, is that <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. That kid got some fucked up teeth. It's the Omen kid. No, man. Hey, what is this? A novella? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, dude. I wish I was there right <laughs> now. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Do you mean it? I was. That is fucking. That's creepy. That see, is a little. <laughs> I'll see that in my nightmares. <laughs> that's, that's, cr- that's creep, dude. Creep, dude. Little creep, dude. <laughs> that's cre- little creep, dude. <laughs> that's a good rapper name for yeah. him. Little creep, dude. Fucking little creep, dude. Little creep, dude. LCD. <laughs> yep. <laughs> little creep, LCD. dude. And shit. Yep. <laughs> A little creep dude. Fucking little creep dude. Yeah, you could come out as LCD. Yo, that's that new guy, LCD. Like, what does LCD stand for? Little, little creep, creep dude. dude. Damn. Yeah. Not little to creep be. Dude. Little creep dude. LCD. <laughs> Not to be confused with LCD sound See, system. that could be your that could be your uh, hip hop your your MC name. There you go. Or your beats, you know what I mean? MC got, little creep dude. I put little that on dude. I put that on Z new. <laughs> <laughs> and they call me little creep, dude. Uh, bars. <laughs> oh, bars. Bars. You can come up with some like bars. Bar work. That's strict bar work. Woo. Nice. LCD. Word. You know me. What? LCD. You, you know, know me. me. <laughs> yeah, fam. Little creep, dude. <laughs> Look, he's excited. I love when he sees he comes with, with like beers and he's all excited. Mm. Hey, yes. wait, wait! Show him little creep dude. This is a <laughs> hey, new rapper yeah, called little creep it. Oh, dude. This is really fucked up. This is little oh. creep dude right here, right? Creep LCD, dude? LCD. <laughs> 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 little uh, creep dude. Little, little creep dude. I wow, wanna see dude. you. I'm little creep dude. LCD. Oh my god! L- you knew me. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That's disturbing. That is quite disturbing. This is some fucked up report. That is very disturbing, dude. <laughs> little creep, dude. Little creep. Dude. I would hate to think that uh, you look like that as a kid. Mm. Wow. No. No. <laughs> I don't even want. Yeah. I would, you know. That would disturbing. hurt. <laughs> I'd be. I'd be hurt. Wow. Huh. Thank you, sir. Look at that. Go. What are Thank you, you sipping E-Hole. on? What are you sipping on? None of your goddamn business. I got some Imperial Campfire Stout. It has, it's supposed to taste like a s'more. I have you Russian have, Imperial Stout. You should have your girlfriend go get you a beer. Damn. I'm good for now. I'm watching my weight. Little creep dude is watching his weight. Damn. Or no, that's little creep dude's dead? cousin. All right. Oh, okay. we gonna try that shit. Try right? that shit. Is you that... got any more? We got another one from Ant. Let's go, Ant. Uh, Ant, he's bringing us. Uh, I guess it's Andy Garcia. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh, yeah. Uh, Let's he- see it. Here we go. 
Oh, wait, there's the uh -oh. AM. Uh-oh. Oh. Wow. This is ridiculous. Yes, he's dressed like a maid. And, uh, yeah. Oh, what movie was that? That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's some movie that Andy Garcia starred in. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm saying, dog. What movie <laughs> dark. is that? That's Jeez, dark. Man, dark, yo. It's dark. I don't know if... Uh, American Wedding. Uh, American Gladiator. And what was they asking? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't even want, I don't even want to see that again. Stop. <laughs> I don't. Oh, that's giving me fucking nightmares, and I ain't even asleep yet. <laughs> uh. That's what my mind is going through right now, seeing that. That's, that's disturbing. That's really loud. It's pretty, dis it's pretty disturbing. Disgusting. Yeah. This, that <laughs> gif was loud. Yeah. Yeah, no. What? No. I'd rather him give me a dirty look playing his goddamn <laughs> cowbell all day rather than see that. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you show that, dude? What you he wanted to that? mentally scar us. Yeah. Yeah. You get it. Yeah, it's fun. Intentions. Bad it's fun. Bad intentions, man. <laughs> it's all in the little creep dude. Positive creep vibes, dude. bro. That was a, LCD. That was, that was LCD a shot by a little CD right there. LCD. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here. Here's LCD again. Oh, got shit. Uh -oh. oh, no. A little LCD right there. Oh, no. Oh, LCD. Wait, oh, holding the pistol and shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> LCD. <laughs> black, black. You know? Killing black, it, black. Wow. Damn. Thanks, Ant. Oh, man. Ant, killing it. Where did he get these pictures of you? You don't even have an Instagram, bro. You, he had Instagram. He had, it's probably from being on the show. Yeah. yeah. My too, face is right uh, there. Yeah. His face is no good. Mini skinny. Mini skinny. <laughs> Mini skinny. <laughs> yes. Whoop, whoop. Damn. <laughs> they, they are on fire on the Mini art Pablo. today. <laughs> Fucking. Mini Pablo. <laughs> Colton's Colton's curating another one. Okay, I think I found another one. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn, this one's pretty good. It's uh, see what you got, Papa. All right, it's a uh, judo chop. Oh, Cairo getting hit with toothpaste. Pretty good. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. He should have put Aton's face on the chick though. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that would have been. See, you missed one. You missed one, Damn. but that was a great job. Good job. That de deserves. This is kind of scary, though, like, because nobody's safe. Like, if your face is there, they can take your face and put yeah. it on yeah. anything. Russia has all our clones. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I mean to tell you. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that yesterday, but. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we both knew. We and your own. Yeah, but me they, and your they dad have, talked about it. They have a data yeah. database full of our faces now. Damn. Yep. Elizabeth Hurley was fine in that movie. Mm hmm All thanks to you guys. One of the best. No, I don't I think Elizabeth Hurley was fine in spite of us, dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Absolutely. Agreed. I was just, you know. <laughs> my fault. <huh? laughs> she said it's my mine. fault. Look at it closely. It's all little creeps. Little creep dudes' fault. Yep. LCD. LCD. He's <laughs> the new rap star. It's an I. I do I. more than that motherfucker. I. You got another one. Oh, shit. It's pretty simple. All right. Here we go. Simple but effective. All right. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ed O'Real. Yeah. Wow. Ed O'Real. Ed O'Real. Damn, Damn if I had that fucking Dracula piece right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the Dracula piece. If I had that Dracula piece right there, I'd have so much character. Yeah. <laughs> it just uh, adds a little bit to the persona. Adds a little pizzazz. A little bit. Yeah, it doesn't look like you, man. Adds a little pizzazz. Just a little bit. You know, well, if he didn't have the Dracula piece, then it would have looked like me. And you would yeah, I'm saying that just, it would be weird to picture you in yeah. that and that. Should I come one day with the Dracula piece, dog? So <laughs> make it happen for you, dog, for real. Nah, I'm good. We don't All right. to see that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> what do you mean? Me neither. I don't know, man. <laughs> I agree. That might be interesting. You do it, motherfucker. I, I didn't say I was going to do wow. anything. Wow. I mean, don't want that. Why so aggressive, dude? <laughs> <laughs>
Cuz. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I second that. Ow! Yeah. That would be hilarious, though. That was that was hilarious. Remember, be real. Spilled the cup last time. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> like I, it, was, it was like I pissed myself all in one shot, but it was cold, not warm. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> cold piss. Uh, ooh. Cold piss time again. But it was a cup of water. It was cold, all over my lap, and I lost the game. I knew I was gonna lose the game when that happened. That was a clear sign. That was a clear sign for me, like, okay, today is not my game. <laughs> the old man was like, nope. <laughs> the, old, the, old, the old man washed me right out the game. Like, hold this cup real He's quick. He's like, nope, today's not your day. You were talking too much shit about the day you won, <laughs> and that's not today. Like, <laughs> hold up. I, yep. oh, uh, I should have pumped the brakes on the shit I was talking and just play. I told him. <laughs> I saw. But You've been saying that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I, and then I was after Bobo, so he had like all the reason to like shut me down because of all yeah. that shit I was talking. Like I'm going to try to shut you down over here you from know, over here. I'll say that when I saw that between you two on in that game, because like I saw I was like you know trying to observe, but like I saw the way you were like, Nah, homie, I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to crush you. Like, I did it, but it, yeah. it 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 didn't work out the way I needed it to because really I needed you to knock. And him. Mm. You did not knock. He knocked, but it didn't get to you, and that fucked my whole thing up. Mm. My strategy was all blown to pieces from there. Detroit stinks! Yeah. I should have just pretended to knock for you guys. <laughs> yeah, that would have worked. Sound hey, fam. Hey, this, this is good right here. With the beer? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good, man. They give you, like, their top of the top, the beers at uh, Craft Beer. Yes. Yeah. These fucking stouts are about it. Son. Hey, you know what's crazy? I saw this headline that uh, you know, my my strong friend sent me about. He's like, uh, he's like, look, man. He's like, you can't punch them, but they're getting stuck. What is it? Gorillas in the San Diego Zoo uh-huh. tested positive for COVID. I bro. read that. Can you believe yeah. that shit? Yeah. In this day and age. No, well, I mean, I mean, cats had it for a minute too, right? Cats. Were but I'm just saying, game. like, how do you shove a fucking Q-tip in a, in a gorilla's nose? No, it's maybe through the urine. Yeah. And then because they also have or the to, feces. They also feces. have a cough. Feces. Feces. And which, feces. Which leads me to question two. How did they get it? Wow. Through their handlers. Yep. They about to wipe out an endangered st- species? I don't think so. <laughs> I just, it just, you know, it's, it's not, it just, it was, it was hilarious, bro. Cause like, I'm like, man, I was like, I can't, you can't punch I, one. I don't know if it's hilarious, it's hilarious. but, but I, I, understand, I don't, but I, mean, I, under, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, like, you want to know what's hilarious? What? This shit right here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me the sound. What are you doing, dog? There's, there's no sound. Oh, there's no sound. Drift. We can pretend there's a sound. It's <laughs> Biro playing his cowbell. Oh, that's Andy hilarious. Gucci. Oh, man. Oh, that man. is one of the best right there. Wow. <laughs> I like the shirt. Yeah. I li- yeah, that shirt I'm wearing is everything. Cool. That re- shit is everything right there. reenactment this. from the night. Yeah. That was Larry Fish burning. Ow. <laughs> With Will Ferrell's body. <laughs> that shirt is... That was that more cowbell. More cowbell. I got a fever. I, I got a fever. And the only cure... <laughs> is more cowbell. It's more cowbell. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the greatest sketches yeah. of SNL history. Yeah, as simple as it was. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon couldn't keep it together. <laughs> Which I believe actually makes the scene funnier. Yeah. Well, he couldn't keep it together in a lot of scenes. But, which made it even more classic. Yeah, because you got where it was supposed to be funny at. It was <laughs> You know? He gave you a little guideline where it's supposed to be funny. And, and, he, and I know he wasn't trying to do that on purpose. He no. just could not. I mean, with who he's in the scenes with. They were fucking hilarious. Yeah, who was uh, the one in the, when they were kids in like a cafeteria? Which one? It was like him... Uh, and uh, who's the uh, Amy Poehler? Yeah, and I think 
Tina Fey. Like, oh man, when he literally cannot keep it together, it's one of the best. Yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. We should get a cowbell for the show. We got cowbells. I we got have a few. We got like six. No, I'm sorry, not a cowbell. Fucking um, the the was it a triangle? A triangle. Chat. Should we don't a, have. Should have a minute of percussion on the show. Look at Bobo just you getting know, pissed off because you volunteer and for you, shit you, you didn't ask him for. You know, you, you know <laughs> what 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 I did. <laughs> Bobo made this face. Yeah, he was like, "Why you gotta bring percussion? This shit up in this, bro." Well, we got everything we need. We don't need to bring shit. It's we, all in a box yeah, down there. Yeah, we got there. tambourines. You still don't get it, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw your expression on your face. You're like, Bobo was like "Here we go, great. volunteering me for shit. I had nothing, no, no intention uh, to fucking man. do it." He doesn't have to do it. Everybody else can participate. What are you talking about here? You know. Oh shake, wow! Shake a tambourine. You want to make a rhythm? Everybody make, you know, we have a rhythm section. Like a drum circle? Yeah, a little drum circle this going. Is like the tiki house you got to be Disneyland? kidding me. <laughs> the tiki house. Remember when all the parents started playing? See, but, you know, here's the thing is that, that uh, you know, Skinny Pablo's good at the drums over there. So uh, he, he is. He can play percussion. Yeah. Uh, it's no, but he wants everybody to have a different percussion for yeah, this, bro. Yeah, we all yeah, play it it's, a, it's a bad <laughs> idea for E-Zone to have one. But a triangle he could kill it. A triangle he might be able to do. Give yeah. E Zone the triangle. Good backup yeah. dance. Not the tambourine. Right. Nope. But the triangle. Fucking start raining the shit out of it. Pop, 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 yeah, pop, maybe the triangle ain't a good instrument for E Zone. <laughs> what would be a good instrument for E Zone? Sporadic. The or... silent whistle. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny, B Real. <laughs> Actually, used to play the guitar, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, when I was younger. Oh, yeah. When, when you was were that? on tour, I'm not there. When you were on tour, not there, my guitar was there. Dad. Yeah, my guitar was there for me. It spoke oh. to me in every language I ever needed. That it was to. something you guys were gonna supposed to do together, huh? Yeah. Want to play guitar? <laughs> kind of got scarred by that. You were let supposed me, to teach him guitar. Let me tell you something, Poppy. I cannot play guitar to teach. <laughs> That was a disappointment that you thought yeah. he could play all along. It's like my Uncle Roy was there. <laughs> my Uncle Roy. That was the biggest Damn. disappointment. You thought he could play all along and he can't play. He can't play. Not a lick. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I'll teach you how to shoot some craps and play some dominoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll some weed. I'll roll some weed. I'll show you how to roll a joint. Fucking habits. Some, something useful vices. for your life. Something useful. Something useful for your Bad life. Bad habits and vices, bro. Oh, no. no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at you now, smoking, drinking. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, bro. Remember when, <laughs> remember when you were innocent and pure? How proud you are. <laughs> hey, shut up. I've been on tracks with you, all right? Damn. I think I did my fatherly duty. <laughs> Damn. You done it. I done did it. <laughs> yup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't do oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you never played an instrument? That, like, when you were younger? No, I only ever um, learned to play percussion through Eric Bobo here. <laughs> That's it? Like, you never, like, played anything? I always wanted to play drums, and when Bobo got into the band, that was, like, the form of it. Now I could play basic drums. I can't really, like, I could not, I, I can't say I play, play. But I can keep a beat. Yeah, that was a prerequisite of being in the band. Say, yo, you have to teach me how to play drums. Yep. If you're going to be in this goddamn band, <laughs> then you're going to teach me how to play the you goddamn gonna, congas. You're going to learn me some you drums, gonna, bro. Man, I'm going to learn some drums from you. I'm going to teach you how to be a world-class smoker, but you're going to teach me how to play the congas. <laughs> Big dog. Well, you in tra we both in training right now. <laughs> you never played anything, see? Well, uh, I tried learning to play guitar, but it's it, hard, huh? It's well, yeah, because I'm used to using my fingers differently. Perhaps, uh, when you know DJing, yeah. so it was like to try to learn, like, you know, I learned some chords and I could play a couple things, and then uh, I can play basic drums as well, uh, just like a four on four thing, but like I could be, play a very basic bass. Like, if I needed to loop something, like, I can sound it out mm -hmm. and get that, sample it, boom. But, like, you know, to play, I can't really do that. Bobo can play bass, too, though. A little bit. A you know, uh, little bit. I can find he ain't saying shit, but he can play bass. Plays a Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
I don't know if he's that. No, I'm not doing all of that. <laughs> I don't know if he's know, doing all that. No, I, I I'm, not, I'm not playing with my teeth or nothing like that. The backwards? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not doing none of that backwards shit or nothing, like, not nothing doing... like that. I can do some loops, you know, that's less, it. Less Claypool. But I think that, man, if, if B could play bass, I think that, you know, you would probably look pretty good as a bass player. You know I would I mean? have the best stands, right? You got to have a good bass stand. Yeah. Like Christian has an awesome bass stand. Timmy C, God bless him, he's got one of the dopest bass stances. Phil D, you know. Stand like standing? Standing. Like the way you with stand your bass. Yeah, the way you play. Your fucking post up. Yeah. Like you, what is your post up move before you go ape shit crazy? Because every bass player has to have an ape shit crazy move. Yep. Right? right. So when the fucking heavy shit comes, you got like Louis Trujillo. Right? One of the baddest motherfuckers. Like, you know, like that. They all got a stance and they all got a freak out part. But they can all really fucking play. Right. So you got to have the stance part oh, down yeah. and you got to have the freak out part. Oh yeah. Right. yeah. I would have some oh, yeah. dope I'd have a dope stance and I would definitely have a badass freak out part. But I can't play like any of those guys I just mentioned. So <laughs> But you can still do the freak out part. Nah. I would like to see what your freak out part is. No, nah, I don't think you want to see what the freak out freak out. Yeah. Like, fuck it. Gonna, I'll destroy everybody's set during the freak out part. Light up, please. Thank you oh. so much. How's that TV hanging on? How's that TV? Is it unhinged? <laughs> Is it unhinged yet? No, you understand. I was, I was like in my desk looking for something, and I looked up and I saw him looking, talking to the TV, like he was just like just had his hands like. I he just. <laughs> I was like, dude, he was trying to make it really happen. Hey, you know who was dope too, though? Like Flea's fucking stance and freak out shit. Yeah. He's always freaking out. Yeah. He, yeah. He's got a good one. But I'll tell you, and 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 let's just say when we were doing profits, right? And and we were doing like let's say, um, killing in the name of Timmy C would go into this low fucking stance with his bass, like he's standing forward, and his bass is right there as like a stretch. I'm like, how the fuck are you doing that? The guy's core strength is ridiculous. I mean, you've seen it. Yeah, yeah. You've seen it, right? Yeah. Where he's stre- he, yeah, he stretched all the way out <laughs> like in a lunge, yeah. but with the fucking bass right there real low. It's it's a pretty crazy stance right yeah. there. I don't even know what to call that. That's some of that Yobo. That's Yobo. yobo yes, yeah. that would qualify under Yobo. That's yeah. Yobo. Yobo right Genix. You know I think I, mean? I think Robert Trujillo would probably qualify for that too in Metallica. Yobo. He gets yeah, he gets low. It's core. It's that's, core that, strength. That's right? yeah, that's his chill stance right there. That's his yep. chill stance right there. But there's his kill stance too. He's got the kill stance. The kill stance. You know, because you know, chill he's, stance. he's 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 got a few stances. And yeah, if, you does. know, yeah, yeah, for oh, real though. Yeah, no. man. I no told joke. him. I told him. Taught him everything he knows. Dude, <laughs> you know who's who's rad is uh, Les Claypool from Primus. Absolutely, because he is his stance is like he can he's kind of just walk like walking around. He rocks too, but just like he's pl- his playing is so effortless that he just like you kind of see he's just like. Working it out as he goes, and he's just, you just gotta pay attention Some to Some guys hand. are just that, those he's guys. He's a bad motherfucker. Man. He's a bad motherfucker. Bad motherfucker. Geezer Butler was, dude is right a bad there. motherfucker, too. Woo-wee! Yes. Geezer Butler. <laughs> Look at his hat, though. Yeah. yeah no, of he's, oh, he's, oh, he's a shit, man. He's the G. He is a G. Look at that hat. Geezer yeah, Butler, too. Hat. Yeah, Geezer yeah. Butler. Oh, they don't yeah. talk about him enough, but Geezer Butler. Geezer. Geezer. Yeah, those old uh, and Black John Savage. Paul Jones. He has a fancy mustache. John Paul Jones, but he didn't. Not, he didn't freak out. He no, just no, went he, he full stance. The, yeah, he just yeah. kept it cool. Kept yeah. his plan tight. Yes, always in pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John Paul Jones and Geezer, but always, always in pocket. Did you ever meet Kurt Cobain? Yeah, once. Yeah, once we played yeah. with him. Yeah, that's so crazy. Was he, he did that show. Crazy. He didn't show us his craziness. He was oh, really okay. mellow, chill. You know, cool for the half a second we said what's up to him. Yeah, and I, I went. I you saw know who the, was really cool in that? Well, 
who was who always was cool with us in that band, that, like always interacted with us was Dave. Dave and and, 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 and Chris. Chris. Yeah. Salute to to those guys. They would and always rest come out. To Kurt. They would always come on out uh, and check us out. Yeah, they cool. they they come and hang out with us every now and then. Yeah. Talk talk some shit with us. It, they they were always embracing us. That's what was cool. He yeah. he was always kind of off to his own shit. So we met him like one time when we at, did at the, the MTV thing. Yeah, and then uh, and and then after that, we never really you know saw him or spoke with him again. But the other guys, we definitely. I went to the the last Nirvana show at the Forum. Yeah. Wow. All right, and uh, I saw Chris. And like you know, the, the forum club, you know, everybody was at the forum club and thinking that Nirvana's gonna come out there, and and Chris was the only one that was there, and he was kind of looking around, like, you know, he wasn't even into it. Mm -hmm. So he sees me, he says, "Yo, man, you want to go backstage?" I says, "Hell yeah, you know." I go backstage, and there, you know, Kurt was right there, and it did get a chance to talk to him. He said, yeah, man, I didn't get a chance to meet the rest of the guys and everything, man. It's really cool, you know, everything like that. But the craziest thing happened is that some fan got back there and asked him for a lock of his hair. Whoa. Oh, shit. Don't and, do it. And Damn. he was about to let her go ahead and do it. And Courtney Love came out of nowhere. No! No! Get her out of here. You're not going to do any voodoo. And then, you know, she, exactly. went, she went fucking nuts. She wasn't wrong. But he was about to let her go ahead and do it. Wow. Damn. And this was in their fucking dressing room and shit. I'm, I'm there Ooh. and I like fucking checking this shit out. Bugging the fuck out. Yeah, no. You he know? don't do that. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, then he, pa he passed like three, three and a half, four months later. Oh, damn. No lock of the hair, bro. Yeah. Don't do it. But man, they were powerful. I wonder, if he, did he smoke? I don't know. Cigarettes. Yeah, yeah cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Cigarettes. He smoked. T minus life. That's well documented, I bro. Think he, he may have smoked no. a joint. No, or all his two. pictures though. He's I would imagine he probably though. smoked a joint or two, but that's yeah. not his deal. But his pictures, no. most of them, when he's smoking, it's a cigarette in his hand. It's yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, he was big on that. That's, that's that what heroin. he did. Make it look cool, though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like when I saw mm -hmm. it when I was younger, I was like, yo, I, I kind of want to try a cigarette. And what happened when you first tried a cigarette? I fucking coughed like a motherfucker, bro. Did you get wow. the head spins too? No, like I coughed and then fucking tears came out. Like, cause you know, like it went, like I inhaled yeah. it. I was like, oh, you inhaled it? Yeah. And mm. then they didn't tell you not to? I, I just did it. Like, I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna try it. Mm. <clears throat> and then that was the first thing I tried was Reds. And then I found a, me a median. Mm. And I, I was into prime towns for like two, three months. And then I just, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I can just smoke weed every day. Exactly. And then I stopped. See, I like your style for that. But you I was get like, points. <clears throat> you know, I was just like, I can't smoke weed at the car dealership where I worked at at the time. So I was like, I got to smoke something. And then I was like, fuck, I'll just go to my car. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> I like, just smoke there. When I was a young buck, a very young buck, you know, I have older brothers. I'm the, the youngest of seven mm -hmm. half brothers. <clears throat> but we were all pretty, you know, I'm not going to say tight, but, you know, we were raised closely together, right? And mm -hmm. uh, one of my older brothers, rest in peace, who just passed away not long ago, he was a gangster and all that shit. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of like l looked up to him, right? And, I, and he smoked cigarettes amongst other Majorly fucked up things. Oh. But the thing that I would see most often is him smoking a cigarette. One day he saw me, like, watching him. I was very young. Did he call it Frajos? Yeah. He had a fucking Frajo Holmes. In the blood world, it's called a Bigorette. All right? So, <laughs> um... <laughs> So I seen him smoking, and he's look, he sees me looking at him all intrigued and shit, right? And he goes, oh, you want to try this? And I fucking grab it from him. He doesn't tell me how to fucking smoke it, like much like you did, right? I just inhaled it. I, I did what I thought I saw him doing. He wasn't, you know, obviously inhaling. But I didn't know that. I inhaled that shit. I fucking started coughing up crazy. Like crazy, your eyes tear up, and then I my, I started getting the spins. Mm. Oh, you ain't held it deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't like the spins <laughs> from childhood. It's just not the shit I liked at all. You don't like merry-go-rounds? Right? No. So that one experience mm. 
kept me away from fucking cigarettes for my whole life, dog. I That's did tight. not fuck with them. I still don't. You hit it like a bong though, like. <laughs> yeah, well, that, you know what? That was that was that was a, that was a god blessing yeah. right there to like remove that out the scenario early on. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not for you. Yeah. See, the last time I smoked a cigarette. Was and that was that. You know, I I you know, I give respect to my brother for. You turning me off to that shit way back then, even though that was maybe not the right way to do it, but it was the most effective because I remembered it all this time. You yeah. said he told you you want to try this. You want to try this? <laughs> like, I that's, got a very, you. Yeah. that's a very creepy way of telling you. Like that's the way he did it. This? What do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to say, bro? That was the way he fucking did it. Well, I mean, you imagine him saying it like a fucking homie gangster. You know what I mean? Like, he like, was you a gangster, try this, bro. Holmes? Like, yeah, it was no joke. Nah, man. that's the way it was, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was 100% how he did that shit. I was watching him. He was just smoking away. He noticed me. You want to try this? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you smoke, you're cute. You're half Cuban. You smoke cigars? When I have to. Well, um, yeah, well, Have for, for religious purposes. For okay. religious purposes. Okay. Uh, now and then for a celebration, if I've had, you know, enough like whiskey, I might fuck with a cigar, but like, or a ten. big R. Uh, the 10th Green Thumb store? <laughs> yeah. When number 10 opens, I'll crack a motherfucking yeah. cigar open, my nah. You be having, mm-hmm. well, what is it? Our fucking Godfather be having some good ass shit, man. Oh, he's got good He's ones. got like fucking like real good Well, everybody wants a Cohiba. He wants he has those kudos, man. Because the cohibas are the fucking ones. He, one time he fu- he fucked me up in a sense where I, he was like he's like hey you like smoking blunts right because I was smoking blunts at the time and he tells me he's like here I'll give you this sheet so he doesn't tell me how strong and raw this shit is right so I roll one in front of him and I'm like oh this is just like a backwood so so I fucking cut yeah. it and I remember in front of him I take that first big ass hit this is like maybe last year mm, oh yeah, my no. god man that shit burned like a motherfucker yeah, no, I, 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 I don't smoke none of that shit unless no. I absolutely have to no but the, I you know cause obviously the leaf without it, the chemicals and shit it doesn't it's not as a it doesn't taste like the way it's supposed to but if you're doing it raw like he has the tobacco leaves and all oh, that shit yeah. yeah and I was like that definitely uh, stopped me. Oh, no, That's no. He did give me a bunch of them when I went to Vegas one time, though. Like, he gave me, like, a box of them. He was like, oh, you're going out there to celebrate a birthday? Fucking gave me a box. I was walking around Vegas just fucking you go. half tobacco high. I was like, yo, this is pretty dope. Shit, bring those to me, Papa. I could use them. Well, I mean, he, that they were gone. We'll appease the old man <laughs> with them. Word. All right, look. Is it that time? Hold up. Let me look. Yup, it yeah, it's show been enough time. is. Hello. Yo. It is time for the insane asylum to be opened. It has opened. Skinny hey. Pablo. <laughs> Voice of the people. What the fuck? What the fuck is cracking? Uh, we got Sneaky Sun. Patient One. Zero four seven. Patient One. Sneaky Sun. I like that. Did there. Done. All right. Airheads. He's saying Airheads is a classic movie because we we're talking about movies and watching. It kind of is. Yeah, but. Is it? I haven't seen it. What, Airheads? Airheads, never seen it? Yeah, it's great. I haven't seen it. Wait, is that the one with the... It's pretty fucking stupid, but it's not a bad movie. <laughs> is that one with is the it... Conehead? What year no, is this? No, it's Adam Sandler, it's Steve Buscemi, and Brandon Fraser. They're metalheads in a metal group, oh, and they yeah. decide to take oh. over a radio station. Yeah, that yes. shit's cool. That's it's, the one I didn't. I have not it's watched. It's the stupidest I shit ever. I haven't seen it. It's but great. It's, no, it, it, I, but that, it's funny. That's the reason I didn't review. It was like, I can appreciate School of Rock. And I and I love Jack Black, but when I after I watched it, I was like, I I, I could have done without this. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I <hate laughs> like like I was just like, yo, this ah, that's, <laughs> this is a bit too much for me. Nah, like, that's a good yeah. movie, dude. That movie's dope. Oh, is that Encino Man? <laughs> yeah, no, no, Brendan Fraser. He, he is no, in that. that. Well, yeah, Brendan Fraser. Yes, yeah. Encino Man is in this movie. <laughs> He's also the uh, what was the. Yo, he he kicked it with the Looney Tunes, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, when I saw that, I was like, the all mummy, right. The Mummy. He was in The Mummy. Yeah, the mummy, he was in man. The Mummy. He fucking killed The Rock. He was... You but did this! He hasn't been around for a while, ties. though. It's School Ties. Nah, he dude, was that school Looney Tunes. That was a good movie. Yeah, that had, what, Ben Affleck and fucking... Um, hey, Cairo Matt, comes up Matt here somebody. Damon yeah. and a few others in that yes, shit. sir. Carol said, you guys talking about Egyptian stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I know. He's like, I know. I know! <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> All right, let's go. 
Next one, we got Victoria Pastouche. Victoria Pastouche. Uh, she's saying, I love Shit's Creek. Yes. Uh, one of my favorite shows. David is my favorite it. character. So um, on Netflix, they have a documentary right now that just came out on Shit's Creek and the making of it. You should go check it out. It's pretty fucking good. Is, why is it? Is it based on a true story? No, Shit's oh. Creek was um, a series that Eugene Levy and his son Dan Levy put together. Did mainly Dan. No, I started Levy. watching it, but I just it, it 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 got huge. They only did six seasons, and they fucking you know they they closed it. Usually, people go for about you know as many seasons as they can. Mostly, most are about twelve seasons. You know. If if you're lucky, if you got something that's like fucking gold, they shut it down right when they hit their fucking peak, when it was the best show. Like right now, you see that show in syndication on so many networks right now. And, you know, they did that shit in Canada. Yeah. All Canadian, you know. The best. Mostly, yeah. mostly the cast. <laughs> and they fucking killed it. They won so many goddamn, um, uh, what are they called? The Emmys, right? <laughs> yep. Um, you're yeah, right, eh? they fucking killed it. <laughs> and so now they did like a documentary based on, you know, when they started it to all the way to the end. It was pretty It was pretty good. Yep. So, Victoria, if you like that show, you should go check that shit. You ever watch that show, Arrested Development? Yeah, it's great. Jason. I heard great things about it, but I haven't seen it. You know it. what? I, feel, good. I, I I did give it. I have watched it on and off, but not with enough focus. It's entertaining enough for me to like still stick around in it, but like I kind of want to give that another try. I'm going back to shows like that I used to watch well, they were around... And I missed out. I kind of feel like yeah. I want to run into something like The Sopranos, even though yeah. I know that's far fetched. Because I, I saw The Sopranos eight years later. Well, supposedly Same. they're gonna they're gonna bring the, the no, they have the a prequel mo- coming. It's a movie. Out. Yeah. It's yeah. already done. <clears throat> Joey Coco Diaz. They should uh, do a series. St- started on it, and uh, hopefully in July, if things are back from uh, from his podcast, uh, mm-hmm. he talks that it's it's gonna be available, even if it has to be at home. Because there's some movies. That I'll, I'll fucking pay the fucking money to watch them at home. Besides, I fuck, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm paying for it. I get to smoke yeah. weed. I get to do whatever the fuck you I want. You can't go to a fucking a movie these days, so you might as well pay we for could, it though. and watch yeah. it in your... We could, well, but... I mean, you could, but that would be... Yeah. Yeah, we got to do that, bro. Still dumb, gathering. Dumb, dumb. Yeah. <clears throat> can we... Can we I'm gonna, we're going to look into this, and then if we, if we can have a B-Real TV day... Because they only allow, like, 10 people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I know at, what you're talking about. At the about. theater? There's another way to do it. I'll tell you. Yeah. Because it'll drive-in? take too long. It'll take too long here, yeah. Mm. Um, mine. People in the cars. Beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> During the movie, you can't hear shit. You're crazy. All right, next one. <laughs> next oh wait, one. before the next one, you know what I want to go back to? Speaking of going back, <coughs> I want to go back to you, motherfuckers that haven't smashed like yet. All right, Durr. we're at seven um seventy nine, and there's like you know twelve hundred or more of you right now. The difference, please smash the like right now. And if you're not subscribing to Be Real TV, please do so subscribe and share it the fuck out. Please. I and uh we <laughs> we do this drop. <laughs> we we drop this show Monday through Friday, two PM Pacific Standard Time to four PM, sometimes longer. All right. Mm-hmm. So um make sure you check in with us. Share us out. Don't bo- don't bogart it. And uh, you know it's all love, so um, I I hit you with that. I'm gonna Next s- one, yeah, you guys send that. I'm to, gonna to send Pablo. you something, Raz dude, right now. This is <laughs> send it to Pablo, dog. Raz dude is not here. Okay, well <laughs> he's not in the building. It's skinny Pablo. I've known him that this. long, bro. I, know. I don't care. That, that's why it's nope, fucked up to me. Yeah, I, I still call him Raz dude because yeah. That's- Still fucking right. Ross dude it, is an enigma now. It's no. a religion. Yeah. Hey, man. that guy got caught. It's a world religion. Guys, you can't put you everybody's two guys, Ross dude. You two guys don't understand. You don't get he, it. He understands. You ever no, see it's... Fight Club? <laughs> yeah. What? This Ross is so dude far-fetched. is Fight Club, right? Hey, man. Yeah, Ross dude is Fight Club. No. Well, you next. Listen, you listen to that guy. <laughs> I told him. Well, next, we yeah, got a. Uh, he is a religion. We got M. Pows. Saying, asking, is that Colton Left Eye Lopez over there? Oh boy, <laughs> is it? Come on, hey, the fucking look at yeah, him. That's right, stay over there. He's got that Colton was here look right there. You know, you only see half the face. Remember that Elroy was here. Do you guys remember that? You ever see that shit in the city back in the day? Elroy was here. Elroy mm-hmm. was here. No, not when you were younger. You never saw that. Elroy. I mean, I heard of it, but I never really watched it. Kilroy. Kilroy, there you go. Kilroy was here. Yeah, I used to see that. 
It's, you uh, see that? How about you? You never seen Kilroy? <laughs> Kilroy was here. Kilroy. I never. Really That's what Colton it. looked like. Kilroy was here. Damn. Let's see that again. There you go, Kilroy. <laughs> you don't remember that, Bobo? <laughs> oh, wow. fuck, yeah. yeah. I didn't watch it, but yeah, damn. You got dick nose? <laughs> wow. Damn, he said you got dick nose. Dick nose damn. Colton. Colton. Well, no, Colton name. you know. Like That's what that. he said, dude. Your new name what? is Dick Nose. Dick wow. Nose. No. <laughs> DN. Damn, dude, some girl, <laughs> some girl in this said Colton is a cutie, bro. Oh, damn, damn bro. Hey, oh, fuck back be- off. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go through me first. Yeah. <laughs> slide, slide on my DM. Yeah, slide on my website. <laughs> He's got to get five percent. Yeah. <laughs> he said back you can look, up. but not touch. All right. Fuck that. Unless you got the, unless you got the money. All right. We got Sneaky Sun 047 back. He's saying Aton. <laughs> Is oh. the kind of guy to politely spit his facts into a tissue and then place it in his pocket. Damn. His facts? His facts. Is that a typo? Mm, yeah. I don't so, know. Uh, Some people need speaking spell. No. Some people. Some people, hey, Some people. need speaking spell. Somebody in there said that he that he looks like, uh, Colton looks like Charlie growing up from, from Willy Wonka. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. That's cold blood. That was yeah. That was, I think that was evil genius. He's got that golden ticket. Yeah. Damn. Got that shit in the back pocket. <laughs> that I wish that Horrible. factory was real though, bro. Didn't that make you want to go to the candy factory, bro? Yeah. If I could, oh yeah. I would. Oh, I would have yeah. loved to go in there, bro. Would yo, you have gone into yo, chocolate. Yo, you, Paul. Come out with that. Yo, yo, Paul. You want to go to the chocolate factory? Oh yeah. <laughs> We should go to the chocolate factory. <laughs> You'd have diabetes at the end for sure, though. Yeah. Like at this age, everybody's getting diabetes. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, dude. We're all, we're all like, super positive. Yeah, fuck going to the chocolate factory. I'm just factory. saying, though, like if we went there, like yeah. we'd have to have like a third of every day. <laughs> like, yeah. you know. Well, yeah, you're not going to go. I mean, as a kid, I thought I wanted to Yo, eat the whole Yo, but I would want to do everything place. they did in there. Like that boat, I would fucking pop mushrooms before you go on that boat. Nah, that just, boat ride was sick, bro. Just scoop oh, out. Shit. The chocolate, the chocolate, was the milk water? chocolate. Yeah, yeah. It was just, oh, oh, I would just would have fucking went. Nah, for then it, your dude. hand would be all Delicious. dirty. Fuck that nah, shit. Fuck that. You just fucking, you got wipes and shit. I would though. try to take, like, just like offer a job to a couple of those men. Just be like, look, man, we got, we can hire three of you guys. The Oompas. <laughs> Come to the studio. You know, you clean the tips. What do you, you mean? <laughs> like, Damn. like you clean the tips. God. You fucking come up here, you know, like you're, you're like the the podcast assistant, bro. That'd be the shit, bro. We could hire Oompa Loompas. All right, yeah. Next one. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Next one, we got uh, redneck redliners. He's asking, do you know anything about uh, the new Dre album and when mm. if? Um, I don't know. I heard some songs, but like, you know, I don't know where he's at with it. DM him. But I do know that um, he's got a catalog of banging shit um, to choose from in terms of his library. Yes, sir. Um, so whatever it comes out, and whenever it comes out, I think it's going to be um, a nice surprise for the folks out there that love Dr. Dre. And people that don't know about him or or you know any of that they they gone no because he's got some bangers on that shit like ridiculous and the collabs are man special special shit that's dope excellent special thing (laughs) special things yeah you know yeah man me a cosign yeah Yeah, man next we got the record loco word He's saying, what up, fam? Yo, E-Zone, can I get a 2021 La Izona de la Mor calendar signed? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You, you're making calendars, Chief? I Damn. Mean, I guess. I mean, shit, I might, if there's enough still shots of it, yeah, I'll make it. If you limited edition, shit, it's on, it'll be on my site. Well, he said he was just <laughs> messing with you, but peace I, and love <laughs> to the favorite podcast. Uh, you know, that could be something, a calendar. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he wants scenes from that fucking series, I'm like, shit, I'll fucking give the people what the fuck they want, I'm bro. They're paying we for it. I'm surprised we don't have another scene today. Uh, hey, let's not rush this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we can always it's do a American. rerun. We can always rerun. We got reruns. Nah, put that. Did you get the picture I sent you? Well, how'd you send it to me? Text. All right, well. 
<laughs> All right, well. Break yourself up. Oh, okay, okay. I think I think Break I got this one. Your number. Uh, here, well, let me ask another question. I'll pull it up. Uh, we got Ollie eighty nine asking, "Can you get Russell Peters on the podcast?" Yes, I think. Um, actually, that, yeah, that would be great. I think we could get him. I know we can get Tom Segura too. Yeah, once he's done recovering. Once from he's done, fucking... re- yeah, we don't <laughs> oh, have to talk to him. He, and he, I had talked to him right before that happened. You know, he, you know, you know, or like, or maybe right after it happened. A lot of people don't know that that, that motherfucker speaks full on Spanish. He's like yeah. it. His mom. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, but like when you hear him speak Spanish, it's like, where's his mom from? There's Peru. South America, Peru, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So he speaks well, full. Yeah, I mean, Spanish. why would that be a surprise? Because he doesn't. He like. He doesn't sound like it. No, it's just like if I were to, you know, after seeing him do comedy and stuff like that, and then he recently started embracing the whole Spanish thing. Right. So it's like it shocked everybody because you're like, yeah, you're like, oh, I would have never thought. I mean, not that anybody and was. And it's hard to do it in Spanish in <clears throat> comparison to English. Because that's it. That Spanish funny is not the same shit as English no, funny. It's, it's way different, bro. Like Spanish people laugh at way different shit. They're like very pervy. <laughs> well, like it's, it's that, just a different. It's a different. It's very. It's a lot of it's fucking a different kind of yeah. delivery. It's a, it's right. a lot of pervy humor, bro. I seen that shit. I was like, well, all I right. Mean, a lot of these motherfuckers got pervy humor. It's just it's different the way yeah. they deliver it. True. I was like, now I see why all the fucking newscasters have sexy ass girls, bro. Correct the mundo. Speaking of, we got some artwork from Teeny Main. Whoa. Oh, speaking oh, of boy. pervy, it looks oh, like uh, so you guys. Oh, at the radio station. That was kind of oh. almost what it was like. That The piercer was Damn. in this position, and Bobo and I had a mic. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, it's about to go down. What's happening? He's adjusting. He's getting ready to pierce. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> We'll be back after these messages. That was a very, like, girly scream. That was you. No, that was very girly. That was, like... The, no, this uh, is him. Ah! Yeah, it's different. <laughs> different. Get it straight, bro. Mm. Oh, we also have the, that one ting. That one ting. What ting? This ting. That that was... Oh. <laughs> I lead a force. Damn. Look at... Oh, you got Andy Garcia. You got C- minus, albino minus. Albino, yeah. my, you get Albino Cairo. There look at Cairo, look at right emo there. zone over there. 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 Emo zone over there. How come you? How come well, there's Bobo. Bobo? He's right there. <laughs> oh, that's Bobo back there. Raz, dude, you see Raz, dude? That's Raz, dude, right there. Oh my lord. Cairo fits in perfect with that. That yeah. he's half white for sure. <laughs> Damn. Like he looks the only one that's believable with that shit, bro. Well, that's a chick, right? We got <laughs> <a> hair. <laughs> Good, good work. <laughs> Great success. Holy! That's from, good. Uh, is that from teaming? Damn. Hey, Ant. It's got to be Ant. Oh, gnarly. Gnarly. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's Ant. Ant Aguiar. Ant. I fucking love it. All right. Like an ant. Next one. Ant, man. Uh, <laughs> we got Diego. What's saying, Diego? what up, B? How do I apply... For the Dr. Green Thumb Dispo opening up in SD, I want to make sure I'm one of the first. Hmm. I got to lock you in with my peoples up in SD. So, you know, hit us on the, the DM. All right. Be real. Blue mm-hmm. check. IG. Yo. Boom. There Spam. it is. Send Ooh, that check. resume. Mark. Boom. Uh, next, we got Sean Lavender. He's saying, hey, Lavend- be real. Lavender, huh? Lavender. La- I, that was very bougie the way you said it, but that was cool. Lavender. Danke, danke. Fuck lavender. Lavender. No, you want to say lavender. Lavender. All right. Calm down. I dig that. That's how I handle my business. You're saying AB Real and Bobo. Uh, Why? Okay, this is a dumbass question. (sighs) Okay. Wait a sec. It looks like a joke, though. Colton, what do you think of this? Is this inappropriate? Just say it. All right, all right. Why did (laughs) Celia Cruz die of diabetes? Why? Answer, because she would always say... Azucar. Boom. I mean, it was kind of tasteless, but yeah. you know, I see the funniness in it. Azucar. You go fucking start throwing shit off your fucking show at your house, bro, for that joke. <laughs> she might uh, come back. <laughs> I was yeah, like, she was with the her business, spirit, bro. Her, her spirit is going <laughs> to give you a little smack tonight. Yep. Yeah. In your dream. But I, I, I see the funny in it, but yeah. It's a it's a dad joke. It's a, yeah, it's, total it's, it's a nice joke. joke. It's a dad joke. Like I mean, it, uh, it's not a nice joke. joke, but it's a joke. Word. 
All right, next we got D Rec <laughs> Loco. Oh, word. Loco, he's saying you'll be real. Just yeah. picked up some magic melon last night. It's fire. I told him. And when is Green Thumb LA going to get some more Hindu funk again? Mm. Pretty soon. We are restocking. Um, it'll be back on the shelf soon. But right now, you got um, Christmas lights, you got ice cream cake, honeymoon's about to be on the shelf right now. That is some shit Ooh, right yeah, there. What is that? Honeymoon. Honeymoon. <laughs> That's new, new for you. Ooh, that sounds All right. dope. Next one, we got uh, D Vonk. Shout out to you for the emoji mm-hmm. and the euro. And we got Kristen Wright. Shout out to you for contributing as always to the show. And that seems to be it for now. I told them. And rest in peace to Celia Cruz. She's yeah, a indeed. legend, one indeed. of the greatest. Come on, man. All right, peace, down. man. Yeah, I don't know about that joke there, son. Yeah, dick. Yeah. Now cool. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, we are right there. Yeah. Just right, right there. Damn, huh? I didn't realize we shit. We were having a good time over home. You know, when you guys uh said that I'd, somebody kept sending me a video of uh these gorillas that like somebody was uh in in one of the I guess the camps that that white lady that stayed with the gorillas right. I don't know what her name is. Jane uh-huh. Gooden. Yeah, Goodall. Jane, yeah, Jane Goodall. Yeah. Um, and I guess they were going through like a, a spot and like they ran into one of these gorillas and it's like the uh, up to date one of the biggest ones and like holy shit bro they're like you could tell how people realize that like he can fuck everybody up right now. So have you <clears throat> have you changed your mind? No, I still would take the chance at a million dollars, but fuck, you know uh, it's, it's it's still even though you get know your what, ass whooped, even though? though you know oh. what you know. Well, it could, I mean, yo. That it doesn't. First of all, they're endangered, so you know. I mean, you don't. You can get like the gorilla that's kind of domesticated. You know, what I mean, like mm. they're not that. They're not that. Common. Yeah, but that's not fair. Well, yeah. it's not really up to me. It's up to the company if Eventbrite wants to do it. You know. Oh my! No one's listen. No one is gonna want to do it. No one. No yeah. one. But the whole thing was that I looked at it and I, I looked at how much uh, the animatronic. Uh, pr- you know, like if you wanted to get a life size gorilla, like an animatronic gorilla, it's like about two million. Why don't you? <laughs> yeah. I no for real. Like I looked it up, and I was like, the only companies that are buying this shit are like, you know, like real fucking companies that like do all these movies and shit. Those like fake gorillas that you see in movies, that's like two million on fucking film. Damn, it's like a couple fucking million for those animatronic fucking gorillas, bro. However, though, it would be cool as fuck to like make, you know, what I mean, I think right? you should just as hey, dude, that dude is mad as fuck. You see he gonna, him? He's gonna kill the, gonna beat it. Yo, motherfucker. That's what fucking he's thinking. But you never see him eating bananas ever. Because <laughs> maybe you know where they're what? at, they don't have them. Yeah, how about it's that? It's a bunch of leaves, Doc. Yeah, they didn't go to the store. All right, All right. <laughs> next one. We got Dave Vonk uh, <laughs> back. He's got the one up. What up? He's got the one up emoji. Shout out to you. One up, son. Yes. And um, that seems to be it. Right. No, wait. We got more. All Victoria right. Pastouche Boy. asking, when will there be a green thumbs in New Jersey? Oh, we definitely want to do that. Um, at some point, we'll be looking into that because we should definitely be out there. Mm. I shall say that. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm on. Uh, next, we got Pena's Mobile Detailing. Uh, he's saying Pena Mobile Detailing on IG all day, Bay Area in right. 209. That's okay. what's up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, clean them cars, bro. <laughs> Smoking your car out. That's clean, right. He'll get it right. Hit that you. fool Word. up, dog. He's not gonna, not gonna tell you shit. I got some different kind of air freshener, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. It's, it's a different. little different. It's all different. It kind of. That's uh, would be the the brand would be called. It's different. <laughs> I told him. It is different. Ben said that. One hundred percent. I'm right. Is that it? That seems to be it. All, All right. right. E-Zone, you got shout-outs, Papa. Yep. Yes. Uh, thank you to everybody who sold out the Jurassic uh, Miss Candle. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. Uh, you guys sold it out. It didn't even last uh, a day. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and restock, restock that one. That's a Jurassic Park-inspired uh, candle. Also, thank you to everybody who bought the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast uh, snapbacks. That is sold out as well. And uh, there is going to be a new High and Hungry hat tonight on the on the website. That's flavorsbyezone.com, highandhungry.shop. There's two new episodes of High and Hungry coming up, so make mm-hmm. sure you guys uh, are ready for it. Uh, have your alert and notification noti- notice uh, on on the B-Roll TV channel. Make sure you guys check that out and follow me on Ezone the Firm. 
Pablo. Uh, SkinnyPablo.com. You go there, enter the code B Real TV, get free shipping on all the items. We got everything on sale pretty much. We're clearing out for some new shit. So get that. Listen to the new beats and be on the lookout for some records. Got some major shit coming. So we're yeah. on. Bless up. Skinny. And Discord. Word up, Skinny Pablo and Colton Kilroy over there. <laughs> like that? <laughs> All right, how about you, uh, C minus? Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for uh, checking me out over on Twitch. You can follow me at C minus Fan4. Uh, join me every uh, Monday through Thursday at 9 30 a.m., and then on Fridays, 9 a.m. Tomorrow's two for Tuesday. They play two songs from one artist all morning. Just you know, try to start a good day, uh, your your day off a, a great way with music. So uh, give give me a follow if and check me out as well as all the other socials, uh, Twitter, IG, and Discord at it's all C at C minus fan four. All right, I know you got another one before Bobo. We got one more Christian Pena. He's saying sorry to plug. I got nothing but love and respect for everyone at the table and the asylum. Word. Love each other. Take care of one another and stay positive. Bless. Christian Pena. Pena Detailing, 209. Bless. Word up. Word. Salute to you. Eric Bobo. All right. Well, you can catch me on my socials, on Twitter, at Eric Bobo, on IG, at Eric underscore Bobo, and on Facebook, at Eric Bobo Music. Thank you for all the, the new followers there been following me and uh also new music coming uh me uh Stu bangers albums called empires coming in april and uh bobo bongo jam 2 is in the works right now so be on the lookout for that but uh for those that missed the first episode i'm gonna see if maybe we can uh one day play the episode here on b-real tv let's do it and thank you guys for your support. Word. Um, check out my Spotify Spotify playlist. That's uh, Be Real's Prescription. If you ain't up on game, make sure you go check that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Um, give it a whirl, if you will. Um, if you want those fiery flavors, they come in those insane bags. Buy Dr. Green Thumb. Go to the Dr. Green Thumb dispensaries near you if you are in California. Starting in Sacramento, Humble County slash Eureka, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Cathedral City, and Silmar, California. All right. Um, make sure you check them. We got San Diego coming in line soon. Um, probably sometime early. In the, Well, I'm going to say in the next few months. Probably going to ignite that. So uh, be, on, be on the watch for that. And we're also working on Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right? So um, make sure you check for that. Insane flavors dropping. New ones. Uh, we got that honeymoon coming soon. It's fucking crazy. Wow. All right? So uh, make sure that you stay on the one with all that because you don't want to miss out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, we appreciate you always tuning in with us and sharing us out and uh, blessing us with your energy because uh, without you, this makes no sense because we do this shit for you and with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so thank you. Um, it's always a blessing. So stay on the positive. Stay with that positive energy. Um, be good to those around you, even though, even though they might be shitty to you. When you recognize that, you just step aside and leave their boof ass alone. Yeah. Don't smoke their boof weed. Don't buy into their boof way of thinking, and you just keep it moving on the positive, all right? Stay on the one. Smoke that good, good. Treat yourself right. Treat your neighbors right. That's right. That's that honeymoon flavor right there. Honeymoon. Yeah, I want this. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Yeah, up. bro. Nice. Green Thumb Farms. Look at that. Look at that right. shit. Beautiful. So, so fucking beautiful. Um, yes. I told them. Stay smoking that top shelf. You know, each one, teach one, treat yourself right, yep. mm. treat others right, stay with compassion and love. Love is the key. Aight. And uh, make sure you check us out in the mix tomorrow at 1 p.m. on Twitch, B underscore Real TV. Follow us there. If you got an Amazon Prime account, the Twitch subscription on the monthly is free. So um, go fuck with us. Aight. Doctor's orders. Mm. Take two of those to call me in the morning. See you tomorrow. One, two.